Hey, Kilwalski, how you doing? Oh, mate. Mate. PUBG. PUBG knows it's Friday. PUBG knows it's the weekend. Knows how to treat a man. Get your fingers limber. Exactly. Starting a new job on Monday. 12-hour shifts, here I come. We'll look forward to that. That sounds like a joy. You had your AstraZeneca jab this morning. Slightly sore, but otherwise no side effects. Nice. Excellent. Good news. A vending machine. Where the hell are the vending machines? They're on Mirror... They're Miramar only, aren't they? Is it Miramar only? Yeah, I think they're Miramar only. You get them in various buildings in Miramar and you press them and they drop... Um, boosts out of them whereabouts they spawn in different locations but um if i mean i'll if i get a chance i'll show you if i'm on miramar at some stage today oh i went to like do my hat thing but i'm not wearing it that was <laughs> that's confusing very confusing Sometimes in the big warehouses, you know, the ones that have like a raised area inside, you can kind of climb up to like a gantry around the edge. And then they have like these couple of little rooms downstairs on them. Those warehouses often have vending machines. Sometimes the kind of office type buildings, like the tool building in Picardo, those can have them inside as well. Phantom hat syndrome. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a tough life, but, you know, you just got to crack on. The casino, yeah, the casino can have them. Short bus, how you doing? Can spike strips kill people? No. I mean, unless it, like, you know, makes their car crash into a wall or something. The arena, yeah, the um, the boxing ring at Picardo has them, can have them as well, quite often. They're pretty common on, on Miramar, but they're one of those things, I think, if you don't know about them, you just wouldn't even think to what, you wouldn't go up to it and try and press it, because there's nothing else like PUBG in that, right? Nothing else like PUBG, like, there's nothing else in PUBG like that. So it doesn't really occur to you to go up and start pressing buttons on random, you know, bits of scenery in PUBG, does it? Again, I think that's like, there's a lot of things like that in PUBG that uh, were released at one stage. And then unless you were playing PUBG when that was released, or someone's told you about it, you just probably wouldn't know. Because there's no like definitive, there's not like an in-game guide that tells you all of the game mechanics or anything. Like stuff like vehicle like, vehicle damage, right? Like, hello. Hello, who's this? Delta, dropping the five gifties. Thank you so much, Delta, for the five. Going out to Kid Iggy, to Pras Prasa, to Double A, to Bink, and to Mole State. Thank you, Delta, for the five gifties. First saxophone of the day. You bloody legend. You bloody hero. Thank you very much. Getting that sub count rolling. Getting us back over 850 subs. Maybe if we're lucky today, we might get back over... 900 subs. Maybe if it goes absolutely mad, we might go back over a thousand subs. Who knows? Pog. Well, exactly. Uh, couldn't have put it better myself. Pog, Pog, Pog. Um, yeah, it's like the, uh, the like the vehicle damage, right? So when you shoot vehicles, they take more damage when you shoot the engine block and they're out, and the body than you do. They do if you shoot the roof. So they take the least damage if you shoot them in the roof. Then a bit more if you shoot them in the body, and then a lot more if you shoot them in the engine block. I think loads of people probably just don't know that because they just didn't read those patch notes. But it's you know it's there, it's happening. Uh, who, uh, who was that? Nath, thank you very much for the raid. Cheers, buddy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Salim, how you doing? Bearded Scott, Scott, great to see you. Wanny, how you doing? Too many buttons on this game. Each button does eight different things. It's there's a lot to take in. There is a lot to take in. Absolutely. Uh, Barney, thank you for the 10 months. Cheers, buddy. How you doing? Einstein, I see a Luke and welcome. Host, welcome.
He's no killy killies. Hey, Thizzle, how you doing, mate? Get up. So a guy dropped in this, this warehouse here. I'm kind of tempted to chill here. I feel like he might, his natural course would be to come out here. Bang, look at this. Oh my God, you're so low, dude. Now we got to push it. It was good hits. We shot quite well. It does make me think twice about charging through the open at him with an M16. Uh, hey, Bonsai. How you doing, mate? I don't want to, like, sneak out of there. Let's see if I can bait a peek. I don't know if he's just chilling there or what, really. I feel like if he's not got any meds, that's probably what he'd be doing. We try and bait him by running over here. Mate, I don't know. He's either waiting for me on that corner or he's just like run off out the back. We'll uh, get some more stuff and... Reassess, man. He must have been so fucking low. It's kind of annoying. If he didn't shoot nicely when I was running across there, I would have just charged straight at him. Uh, who was that? Tommy, thank you for the biddies. Cheers, mate. AP, how you doing? Nice to see you, buddy. Spike strip, we need that. Uh, hey, Kira, welcome. You reckon, reckon he's giving it legs? Yeah. Yeah, he could have snuck out. Where did my red dot go? Oh. I somehow accidentally dropped all of my gear off my M4. Uh, maybe we'll go find these guys. Keep an eye out for that friend. Yeah, like he definitely had room to sneak out. If he wanted to. Uh, hey, Dean, how you doing? Keep an eye out for our friend. We were doing nicely with the M4 yesterday. We'll have to do some more M4 games today in the old uh, customs. M4s only. <laughs> My kind of game. They've gone well when we've done... Um... Oh, God, I hate this little bit. Uh, when we've done like no, the no attachments we did last week, I think was pretty fun. I enjoyed that one. M4 was pretty good for no attachments. Hey Dutch, how you doing, mate? Big Z, nice to see you. Uh, thank you for the two-year resub, Bigs. Cheers, mate. How you doing today? Have a quick scamper out. Oh fuck, hello. Same bloke. Yeah, that's him. I 
don't really want to push this ridge he's on because it's he could just wrap right and get really good vision on me. I think it's the same dude. I'm not quite sure. Hey, Ganja, how you doing? Go this way. Uh, hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Brand. Oh, hey, vehicle. Well, hello, there he is. Get it. Mm. Maybe we'll uh, leave this guy to it. <laughs> He's fucking rinsing me. You just chilling? I, mean, I think I keep seeing him there. Is that him? Oh, he's there now. Stop shooting me. Honestly, this dude. Uh, this is just a normal game while we wait for our customs. I've got a bandage now, mate. Give me a minute. If he gets closer, we can try and spray him. He's shooting really well, though. I think this guy's going to kill me. If that's just him hard peeking it there, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Every fucking time I peek instantly. I believe. I do not believe. I'm going to run out of bandages soon. We're stringing it out nicely. At least we nearly survived phase one. We got one molly. God. Oh, someone else shooting out. Jeez. Move from that position. Thanks. That's good advice. I'll do that. I'll do that next time. Use harsh language. What's up, Tiny Yoda? How you doing? Initiate the charge. <laughs> Try to bargain with him. We got him. GG's. Uh, nice. Right, let's set up a custom lobby. Unlucky. I mean, when you already find someone who's decent and then someone else turns up and pulls up and starts shooting in the back, you're, um, yeah, you're pretty, pretty done for. Pretty done for. Uh, right. Well, not amazing to see so many people here so quickly. Custom Games is certainly the most popular day of the week, isn't it? We're 20 minutes in and there's like 140 people here watching me get killed on Erangel. Uh, okay. Let's make a room. Should have shot him. That is, that is good advice. That is solid. Classic Twitch chat advice. <laughs> Just enjoyed your latest YouTube video. Would love to know how much damage you healed over the course of that game. Thanks, Wit. Yeah, it was a, um, a good one, wasn't it? It was pretty good. Pretty crazy. Uh, let me just make this lobby and then I'll uh, give you the password in just a minute. Where are we going? Aaron Gall, um, FBP, Solos, sure. And we'll make some like wacky rules up for it. Some like weird gun rules or something. 
Where's my two-year beard? There it is. There it is. Uh, yeah, so the, the replay today, if you want to watch it, you know, now or later or whatever over the weekend is the one from the other day where I had to take a phone call for like five minutes in the middle of the game. Uh, but yeah, I got put down to red health many times in that match. Thanks, Dutch. Hey, Sideburns, how you doing? Ben, you be smoking the herb. No, I be drinking the coffee, Earthcar. How many servers are there? Uh, I don't know. Smoking those Robos. Uh, nice. Nice reference. So, let's do... Um, Snipers. DMR's off. Um, snipers and M4s. Bang. Nice and even. No excuses. VSS only. Oh my god. It'd be so troll. Um, and we can have deagles as well. In case Pidge is in the room, he can have some fun. Or should we do just snipers, snipers and deagles? That's pretty more interesting, isn't it? Let's do that. I'm just putting M4s on because I freaking love the M4, but we can use the M4 later. Uh, cool, okay. Deagles and snipers. We'll see how that goes. Um, and we'll jack up throwables, lots of, but we'll turn off frags and mollies, I think. So we'll just have loads of stuns and smokes. Uh, what do we got? Snipers. So don't need 12s. We do need that for digs. We don't need that. Do need that. Don't need that, or that, or that. I don't know if I should do a different saying on this, like... Adjustable total number or adjustable ratio. Maybe we want that one? I feel like some one of them might help us get more snipers because often when we do like snipers only, they're still quite hard to find. You need five, five, six. What for? What are you talking about? I turn the M4 back off. It's Deagle and Deagle and Sniper. <coughs> Pay attention, class. Honestly. Um. Okay, sights. We'll just turn sights up a bunch. The mini's not sniper, is it? It's DMR. DMRs are off. Don't need any grips. Don't need any stocks. Well, actually, you might want to stock. Secretly turn off all ammo. We could make something work with that, right? I like... We should do a crate-only one or something. It'd be kind of funny. Um... Sure. Sure. Make it feel a bit, you know, pacier. 
Vehicles will just leave as default, I think. Hopefully this setting I've done at the top on spawns doesn't screw everything up. We'll find out. We will find out. That is off. That is off. I have red zone off because, you know, I'll treat you all because I'm nice like that. And um, we'll just speed up the blue zones a little bit. Uh, Siwa Gaming, GG. Thank you very much for the three months. How are you doing today? GG. Just some like real random zone timings here. How's this? That's that. 25 minutes? That would do. Spot on, I think. All right, cool. Massive punch up, crossbow only. Maybe we'll try crossbow only. I feel like that's been kind of done to death a little bit. Also, it's always weird and quiet. It's just like completely silent, but maybe we'll try it. It's often asked for. Hey, Pepe, how you doing? The Karakin no weapon game, that was fun. It was pretty good, right? <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. But I hope beer fridge isn't in there. Bikes and handguns. That'd be good. VSS War Mode is a great quick game. Yeah, it's quite fun. What's the password? You have to try and figure it out. It's a puzzle. Brizo, thank you very much the biddies. Cheers, mate. Thank you, buddy. Three minutes to get yourselves in. First game of the day. First custom game of the day. So I think we'll play around today with some like wacky gun kind of rule games. Um, maybe some like crate only or something. Throwable only. I don't know. Something like that. Try and mix it up a little bit. We did lots of the um, custom play zones last time. Which are really good. But um, I thought we'd try and make it, you know, do a bit different this time around. Do challenges work, <clears throat> excuse me, in customs? No. Hey, Ogre. <laughs> I'll be first to die. I always am. Oh, you'll be fine, Ogre, I believe. Tommy Buzzbang's in the room. Stevie O's in there. Good to see. Pigeon in the room. I'm dreadful, so no point. That doesn't stop most of these people. Get involved, mate. Minis only. I'd like a minis only. Been stuck indoors since the 23rd of March last year, pretty much. I can leave the house in April. Shielding's been relaxed. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty much the same here, really. So we can, um, from the 29th of this month, so week Monday, we'll be allowed to have up to six people can socialize in a private garden um and then 
uh, I think like a couple of weeks after that, I can't remember the date, but like a couple of weeks after that, they're going to open up pub gardens outside spaces for pubs again. Um, yeah, so that was so in a couple of weeks. So April first weekend really is the first time I'm going to be able to socialize really with any of my friends um, for quite a few or family really for quite a number of months. So um, yeah, looking forward to that a lot. It's going to be nice gonna be good it's been officially one year since i left london march 19th yeah it's pretty much the anniversary of um yeah lockdown isn't it really the taste of that first pub beer for so many people yeah it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be weird yeah they've vaccinated quite a lot of people in the uk now they're getting through it they're getting through it but yeah, just that little thing of being able to have a few people around to like hang out in the garden, you know, it's going to be just so nice. So many of my friends that I want to catch up with that I haven't been able to see for like, you know, a long ass time. Kicked us out of the office to go one year ago. It's exactly 24 days until we can have a beer with friends in a pub. I can have, you can have a beer with friends in like, what, two and a half weeks, right? In your own garden. You've had yours. Yeah, you said plum. That's great. Hey, did you feel feel crappy or right as rain? Land customs around yours June 21st. I mean, it's amazing how our vaccination has rollout seems to have gone quite well in the country, considering every single other aspect of COVID was just dealt with so incredibly poorly by our country by our government so it's kind of remarkable we seem to have i guess you know even a broken clock's right twice a day right hey gacassio how you doing yeah it's kind of remarkable because everything else to do with it over the last year has been an absolute clusterfuck but somehow <laughs> through i think just sheer blind luck uh, the vaccination rollout's actually gone going quite well, so. Is that the first day of summer, Dells? Nice. Is it a random circle this time? Yeah, there's no, like, weird circle settings on this one. It's just a normal... They're sped up. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's sped up, so the circles will close quicker than normal. But um, it's not like a weird square circle on Spawn Island or anything like that. Um, and it's deagles and bow actions only. Uh, and please now, if you're playing in the game, now is the perfect time for you to mute the stream, minimize it so you can't see or hear it, and turn it back on uh, when you're dead. Good luck. I will see you on the battlefield. If you're not playing in the game, you don't have to turn off the stream. You are very much welcome to continue watching. I've booked a holiday to Spain for the 3rd of July. Am I being too optimistic? It sounds pretty optimistic to me, but, you know, you, you do you. Yeah, I, I, I'm not booking anything abroad for a while because I don't know, you know, even if, like, England's in, a good, in good stead, it might, you might get to July and, like, you know, the place you're going might go into lockdown or you might be able to go there but nothing's open and then it's just going to be a shit, you know, waste of money anyway. So, uh, for me, yeah, not... Not rushing out to do anything like that. But, you know, fingers crossed for you, mate. Missed it by that much. By that much. It's all right. You won't be able to kill me. Every cloud. Uh, I'll change the overlay in just a minute. I'm not suggesting that I don't trust uh, the players in our lobby. Um you know, to, to have not turned the stream off. But, um, I, you know, I don't, uh, I don't trust the players in our lobby, to be honest. Just, I don't, I don't trust any of you. One, one little bit. <laughs> one, one jot. You know, no offense. Right, zone is, oh, it's actually on me, which is nice. Okay, so let's see what the loot's like. I'm curious how hard it is to find bolt actions. Oh, I didn't, oh, that's fine. That didn't need to be off. I found a deagle already. This is promising. This is where loads of people realize it's first person. Have a little panic. 
Um, okay. We got me Deagle. We got a bit of ammo for it. You can trust me. I'm not even playing right now. Maybe that's a ruse, though. Maybe you're trying to trick me by saying that, right? Like, how, how could I possibly know? I hope the bolt actions aren't too rare. Then the deagles aren't, okay. So we might as well stock up on deagle ammo. Don't need that, do we? Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. My gamer tag is my name. Ah, that's what they all say though, isn't it? A likely story. He's cheating. <laughs> I feel like there's not a lot of loot around, which leads me to think that that setting probably wasn't the right one to um, uh, have have tweaked. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. The Eagles are fun anyway. Um, happy Friday. Just watched the tube video. Hilarious phone call. No headphones. Yeah, it's good, wasn't it? Good game. I'm not using my alternate account. I could cheat and I'd still lose. Well, Stevio's got a sniper, so that's good. Because he just he just shot Peeler John with it. What a horrible place to loot I've picked. Boop -ba -doo. You missed the Orm shot on stream. Oh, the um, what my one yesterday. It's a good shot, actually. And a bad is. Oh, a nice bag. Thank you. Ugh. Stevio, get out of chat. Or did you just get killed? Fucking look. Stevio, turn I just saw you in the kill feed, Stevio. Can't trust Stevio. Can't be trusted. Uh, Simon, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Band. Uh, place man. Thank you for the twenty-one months. Cheers, dude. Oh, that's not the right way, is it? Oh god, I think these settings are quite hard to find snipers. We'll have to have a play around with the other the other ones. Got him. This place man, how you doing today? It's a fucking sniper rifle when you want one, eh? Yeah, busted. When people pop up in chat, yeah, that's how you get them. You bait them. You just you just smack talk everyone in the game until they they pop up in chat. I haven't. Look, I've only seen one bolt action kill. I guess everyone's quite spread out. You're not going to see me in the kill feed. <laughs> do, do, do. It's all right. You know, we deagles are fine. We can deagle it. Off work at last. Ah, nice, nice. So this is game one. It should be about 20 minutes from now, I guess it's going to take. So uh, you'll be able to jump in after that. Last time I played in your customs, I could hear the stream over voice chat from another player. That doesn't surprise me. Does not surprise me in the least. Monster Drift just fell to his death. Good work, Monster Drift. I guess that's some FPP bike driving there from uh, from Drifty. A little bit too much drifting. What's up, Puzzled? How you doing? Well, they've got a sniper. Well, we certainly learned that... um. That setting for uh, trying to get snipers is not not the one to pick. It's okay. We'll just, uh, you know, you just got to go and... If you hear someone with a sniper, you got to go and push them, right? And then you can get their sniper. Probably be fine. We'll do some more FBP today. Don't worry. We won't do all FBP because I know people, you know, people have different preferences. But um, we'll give it a good go. I might just go over to, like, 
power and loot there because um, it's just a lot quicker to loot rather than running in and out of doors and stuff. There goes Buzzbang. With that holiday talk earlier, it reminded me of how much I want to go to Benidorm and eat full English breakfast every morning and sit in the English pub all day. <laughs> that sounds... Sounds great. Hey, Chin, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. First custom game of the day. Looking for sniper rifles. It's good. I like the, um, you know, it's nice that they're kind of rare. I think it, I think it adds to the game, actually, rather than takes away from it. If anything, um, I think this was intentional when I set up the lobby. Get out of here. There's one. Okay, nice. I don't have much ammo for it. Yeah, could have this we got 15 bullets. Alright. Okay. We can can manage. Must be warm in London if you can stream hatless. Well, I'll, I'm I'm not in London, um, but it is a nice day today. Thank you. Oh, there's another one down there. Okay, I think we just got a bit unlucky. They are knocking about. You just got to come to like a decent loot area. Yeah, it's a nice day today. It's really sunny. Hey, twin guys. How you doing? You got me hat off and everything. Thought I'd treat you, you know? This on. Thank you. Okay, uh, well, we can go and try and find people now. Where is the hat today? It's just next to me. Keeping me company. What do we got? Four and a six. Okay. Go for a cruise. Kind of an interesting circle. A lot of water in it. He's triggering all of us bearding, balded, balding beard bros. Sorry. Read that correctly. I can't remember who mentioned peas pudding last week, but I mentioned it to Mrs. Witt and she whipped up a batch to go with our fish Tuesday night. Brilliant stuff going into rotation. Like, what is peas pudding? I have like... I've heard of it, but I don't, I don't really know what Peas Pudding is. The Bearding Bald Bros. Yeah, that's our new channel we're going to be launching. You definitely get a lot quicker ADS on the um, 4, don't you? Don't if that feels a lot quicker than that. You know, a little observation for you there. Updates taking forever might get in the three o'clock game. Must have been disco. It does sound like the sort of thing disco would say, doesn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yellow split peas in porridge, but can be reduced and fried. Interesting. Oh, Stevio's down. Unlucky Stevio. Maybe you should have uh, turned the stream off while you're playing in the lobby. And you might not have got killed. <laughs> punished is there an update today no it was yesterday I think I guess that's the one he was talking about mm, I, if they're driving at me then I, I it might be pitch <laughs> I'll be drive away <laughs> I don't trust someone being so aggressive I want someone who seems seems scared my first engagement. 
New season arrived? No. 8th of April for the new season. Okay, this is a kind of a wacky circle. Pidge just deeked someone. I'm gonna we're gonna gamble on a bridge finish here. Let's go and there's a there's a guy there. There's two guys. Oh, that was very close. That's Craig. Well, they didn't um, find any... Uh... Oh, fuck. Who was that? Shot me in the back. Have I done my PGS... PGIS Pickums. I uh, haven't actually, no. Okay, so that wasn't Craig, I don't think, was it? That was some back here, I can only assume. Go on, Craig. <laughs> See how we get on. Run the gauntlet. Sounds a bit like refried beans. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's what I was thinking. Sounded a bit like refried beans. Is he coming? I mean, he doesn't have to rush. Who shot me? I don't think it was... Oh, he's got in the car. I didn't think it was Craig, but... Going the other way. Okay. Oh, he has got a sniper. Maybe it just was. Uh, maybe it was him. I didn't think he had a sniper, but I guess he had got the deagle out because he was just fighting up close. Saved his car. Very sensible, Craig. I like it. I think I hit him. Is Pidge streaming? Probably. He's partial to a little uh, little stream. Hey, buddy. Fuck off. Who's this? <gasps> Please don't shoot me under the thing. Ah, trying to dodge the guy from behind and Craig's shooting at me. GG's. Who is this guy? Uh, Hawks, thank you for the 29 months. Cheers, Hawksy. It was, I had Neuros behind me. Oh no, it was uh, K Bill behind me. Unless whoever was here just got shot. Neuros was a bit further back. Stop shooting. I didn't come here to watch all these other... I don't know what that word means, so I won't say it. Play. Uh, who we got then? There's Pidge just turning up. Still loads of people left alive. There's a nice little fight on the bridge. Fly ourselves around. You've got Sonics and Meta top kills. Yeah, I don't know who... I mean, I've already got all the stuff, so I don't really need to pick on it anymore. I will spend some coupons just for the sake of having something to cheer on. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't really affect me too much. I love that, look, this is, everyone's playing it like it's fucking ranked solos here. <laughs> everyone's like taking a compound. There's no, you're not winning anything, chaps. There's no prizes. Americans have Chris Kyle and Canadians have an insane amount and F marksman. Is there a famous British marksman you dedicate your sick sniper shots to? Uh, I don't know. I don't. Well, we don't. Yeah, it's, I have absolutely no idea. 
We don't have the same sort of gun fetish culture in the UK, I guess. So it's not, unless you're a military nerd, that's probably not something you'd really um, know about, I would guess. Um, DJ Rodney, thank you for the 27 months. Cheers, Rodders. How you doing today? Happy Friday, mate. Hope you're having a good one. Yeah, who's, where's Pidge? He's always good to watch. Oh, Nero's dead. James Bond. <laughs> the famous British sniper, James Bond. Andy McNabb was worthy of Andy McNabb. Let's watch this guy. Uh, hey, Kryptonites, how you doing? Oh, God. Famous British sniper. Oh, God. He's just getting stuck in. Love it. Pitch is on a mad ting. Good lad. Good stunt. Oh, it's close. 5 HP there. I love the little jump around the corner. Uh, who else is doing something interesting? Where's Pidge? Pidge is chilling there. Bill's got a C4 having a fight with Craig here. Hey, Jolio, how you doing? Craig Harrison is a British Army sniper who achieved the second longest confirmed kill shot in history. Wow. That sounds like the sort of fact that Disco would know. Using a variant of the AWM. Thanks, Criminy. You're full of useful knowledge, Criminy. It's amazing you know that. The great longbow longbowman from the Middle Ages. Henry VIII. He was meant to be good at archery, wasn't he? Till he got all fat. Habs, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Captain Price from COD. <laughs> Rob, I, I yell Robin Hood every time I miss a crossbow shot. <laughs> he split Robin's arrow in twain. What you shout? Henry V. Henry's back with a vengeance. Has he killed him yet? No, they're still going. Austin Powers. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're moving outside the realms of, <laughs> of famous, famous snipermans. Criminy's been on the wiki. Nah, Criminy just knows these things. He's a very learned man. He's full of all sorts of bits of information. I feel like I needed to make the circles quicker. It's quite, I didn't anticipate people would like be so slow paced with it. I guess that's the nature of bolt action games. Everyone seems to have found one pretty much though, which is good. Some people will not have too many people whining about not being able to find um, a sniper. Robin Hood in the Kevin Costner accent or the Taron Edgerton? Who's Taron Edgerton? Is that the guy from Men in Tights? I don't know. <laughs> They're the only Robin Hood I can think of. Oh, Bobek, he was on one HP in the blue. Bullet Tooth Tony. Kevin Costner. We shall be in Nottingham by nightfall. Fucking good luck with that, Mace. By a, on horseback from Dover. Are you fucking mad? There's some good horses. There goes K Bill, finally. I haven't seen Kingsman. Didn't find a bolty till I killed somebody. Well, then you really earned it, didn't you? No, Robin from Disney. Disney Fox with the Foxy Maid Marion. I, I've not heard of that. Dover to Nottingham is a decent horse ride by night. That is, and it's not like they could just, you know, bust it up the M1, is it? Edgerton is the guy that played Elton John. British dude, he was also in Kingsman. Oh, I haven't seen uh, either of those things. Oh, there goes Pidge. 
going to be Brizo versus um, Bobek. Bobek's won us. He's pushing anyway because he didn't give a shit. Nice. Brizo. Two kills. The last two kills of the game. Oh, shh. Right now, Brizo. Well done, Brizo. Grabbing the dub. Bobek a second. Pigeon third. Then Cray Cakes, Bill, Waterfall Fiend, Winging It, Jimmy, Liam, uh, and St. Comet. Well played, everybody. In that, what was apparently uh, a simulation of a ranked solos match in which everyone <laughs> took a compound and sat in a house. Perfect timing in for the next one. Yeah, let's get another one set up. Is it beer o'clock yet? Yeah, crack on. Crack on. He is one us. He is one us all day. Hey, Plimp, how you doing? Pidge with the kills crown. Yeah, we don't we don't need to applaud him for that. It's you know, that's all in a day's work. Unless he's busting out 20 plus kills, then it's, you know, he's not trying hard enough, to be honest. Uh let's do another uh, another game. To be fair, I only had bandies. That is that is fair. I will give you that one. That is absolutely fair. Um okay. Let's do um like uh Sanok. But it's going to be, I wanted to do one so it's like Panzers and like, th and Molotovs. If I do that, I need to do an esports mode to get rid of the, um, the loot truck. If I die, then I can't spectate properly, but, um, I think that'll be fine. I mean, I could just spectate the whole thing, which I am kind of, kind of interested in. Maybe I'll just, I'll just spectate the whole thing. Let's do that. Okay. So we're going to go. So to find this lobby, by the way, when you go to join, it won't be on the normal tab here. You've got to go down to eSports and it'll be on this tab with these ones. FYI. FYI, man. Uh, okay, Sani. I should put it on default settings. Or do I, I don't know which. Does either one, do you think, will get rid of the loot truck? I'll do that one just in case, but then I'm going to tweak some settings anyway. Um... We'll put this in TPP and I'll make it into duos just to make it like interesting, I think. Maybe trios. Why not? Fuck it, right? Um, TPP, Erangel. Couldn't find a sniper the whole bloody game. Yeah, I, they, I struggled and then I eventually found a couple. Did take me longer than uh, anticipated to, uh, to find one. Right, let me, um, let me make some rules for this. Happy I got 11th with two kills. GG's. GG's. Right. Um, what was I... What did I say? Oh, yeah. Like, um... So this is the default esports settings we're looking at now, by the way. You wanted Neuro, unlucky. If you're curious what esports settings look like at the moment. I select, didn't I select Sanok? Oh, it is on Erangel, my bad. Yeah, thanks. What a plum. Didn't even realize. Oh, it's because it resets when you scroll up and down on um, this, isn't it? There we go. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Sani. We selected the right map. Thanks, chat. Who won? I went for a coffee. Oh, I did. I got 12 kills and one. It was a pretty good game, to be honest. I wasn't really trying, but, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, let's turn that off. What a silly sausage. Old habits die. Yeah, well, exactly. I can't resist putting it on Erangel. What are these mad settings? Hey, Mickey, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to do Panzers. And mollies. That is what I want to see. 
360 no scope for the win. Yeah, with a um, kick flick twist as well. It was pretty sweet. You know, I've done it before, but you know, it was it was cool. You can have some stuns. Do you think we should give people like a pistol as well? Maybe we should give people pistols. Yes, no. <laughs> It's going to turn into a lot of just Mol pure Molotov fights because of the lack, because of people not getting Panzers. Sawn off, that's. Do you get the Sawn off on Sanok? Does it spawn? Revolvers. If you get the Sawn off, we'll do that. But I don't know if you, um, I don't know if you get it. I think it's probably a good idea to have a little backup like that. Yeah, let's go revolvers. I like that. I'll leave Sawn off on as well in case, like, it is on this map. I don't really know if it is. Um, cool. Okay, so that's revolvers, Sawn off, mollies, and panzers, I think, are the only thing turned on, hopefully. <laughs> we shouldn't have loot trucks because it's on esports settings. And snipers and DMRs are off. So now we need to put some ammo on because we turned off all the ammo. Uh, don't need any of that. That's fine. Uh, what are you getting? Uh, ooh, revolver. You don't need attachments for any of that shit, do you? Oh, Jesus. Big Z, thanks, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, thanks. It's nice. It's real nice. No jammer packs because it's esports. Sure, whatever. Um, Okay, that's cool. And red zone is off. Care package will turn off. Flare is already off by the other settings. The blue zone is already quicker, 24 minutes. So it's on eSports circle settings. I think that'll be fine. We'll see what happens, really. Okay. Um. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. There's the room. I'm going to lock the teams as well. You can use a silencer on the revolver. It's true, but it doesn't matter, does it? It's just quicker to turn them all off. Uh, hey, Lone Wolf, how you doing? Get the old password out. So this is... Panzers. Panzers, revolvers, and sawn off and mollies only on Sanok. With no loot trucks in three mans. Yeah, there won't be a choke for the sawn off either. Hey, Tom Walk, how you doing? Get yourselves involved. Second game of the day. Ah, uh, you're fine, Blair. You're fine, mate. Don't worry about it.
What's the blue dot above people's names mean? It means they're a PlayStation player. It means they're the enemy. <laughs> Who's seen the Unibomber min mini oh mini series? Uh no, I haven't. Is that on Netflix? Only one hour and fifty minutes until I have a three day weekend. Nice, nice. Yeah, we've got a load of bank holidays coming up in the UK. So, uh, first of April, second of April, that weekend is like a four day weekend. The Friday and the Monday on Easter is a bank a bank holidays. Nice long weekend. Worth the watch. Yeah, sounds interesting. I like those kind of documentaries about, you know, crime and stuff. Speaking of Netflix seasons, Queen's Gambit was a legit series. I've never seen that. That's the chess thing, right? I've not seen that. Queen's Gambit is solid. Queen's Gambit was lit. Yeah, we haven't really got any series on the go at the moment. We just watched in like MasterChef whenever that's on. <laughs> but uh yeah, not really been um not had anything else on on the watch. I've been getting into chess lately. I think it's had a bit of a resurgence thanks to that series being so popular. I think people are digging it. Hey, Pantless, how you doing? I'll go over the rules in just a sec. MasterChef is always good. Great British Bake Off is my favorite. Yeah, we've been watching um, Celebrity Bake Off. It's been going on, so we've been watching that. It's been pretty decent. And James McAvoy in it. But they got some pretty good people in it this year. James McAvoy, um, the woman who played um, uh, Ray in the new Star Wars. Like, big, big famous people. Quite impressive. Only fools and horses still the goat. Wow. I mean, that is, that is certainly an opinion. Right, let's go. 53 people, pretty decent. Do a quick ad break. So the rules on this one, it's, um, it should be Panzerfausts, revolvers, sawn-off shotguns, and Molotovs only, basically, and eSports circle settings. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? I like watching obscure competition shows like glass blowing, knife making, barbecuing. They're interesting. Yeah, I like it. It does sound interesting. Why have they all got dots above their head? What does that mean? Oh, it's because they're holding apples. Right, okay. 
Like, why have they all... Why have they all got dots? They're little apples. Showing their weapon. <laughs> okay. Sure. Good luck, everybody. You had to reconnect. Shit. Hey, Harry, how you doing? I just finished Cheesy, early 2000s cable show... Oh, sorry, Cheesy, early 2000s cable show Burn Notice. It was really tedious the last two seasons, and I hate watched it to the end. Speaking of hate watching, or just hating, we watched... There's a series on in the UK about... It's um, Monica Galletti and some other guy called Giles going around to hotels, big hotels around the world. And the premise of it sounded quite interesting. I was like, that sounds like the sort of thing I, you know, I like engineering stuff and that kind of thing. And so we watched the first episode of it when they're in Singapore at the, um, whatever the hotel's called that's like the big tabletop thing. Uh, and I really like Monica Galletti's, you know, a great presenter. She does lots of stuff like MasterChef and whatever. But this Giles guy, oh my God, he's the most annoying fucking dude. In my, if ever a single person has ruined a TV show, it is that man. Like, the rest of it, like, the whole premise of it seems so, so interesting for me to watch. But I just haven't been able to stomach the idea of watching the second episode of that series. Because the Giles guy is like, he just, he reminds you of, he's like a classic British posh public schoolboy, but like in his fucking 50s who thinks he's hilarious and he's just dicking about and it's just embarrassing because he's a grown-ass man dicking about like he's a kid at school showing off. And it's just so fucking annoying. I'm like, I just want, I want you to tell me about this hotel, not you, like, fucking give someone a wedgie, you fucking embarrassment. I don't know if anyone's watched it, but... Uh, <laughs> Giles Corrin, uh I don't know what his surname is. It was, yeah, absolutely painful to watch so i haven't watched any more of it cecil hotel is weird but interesting yeah it was kind of, i'd say yeah it was i i think the cecil hotel series was shite to be honest I, i'm still glad i watched it because then i can moan about it but i thought it was pretty shite it could have been one episode yeah it it should have been it could have been one episode they had to twist and, like, they had to twist the narrative so much to make it passably interesting. It was just got really frustrating for me. I'm just looking around to, uh, you seem very passionately hate this show. I only watched one episode of it. But, yeah, I mean, that guy's pretty annoying. Um, there's a panzer. So, I don't know, like, how many there's knocking around. Sean's messaged me probably about, oh, coffee on the landing. I thought she was going to be sharing my passionate hate for, for Giles and that TV show. He is well annoying. There's quite a few panzers here. Go and get me coffee. I hate Mrs. Brown's boys with a passion. I've never watched it and I don't ever plan on changing that. Where's the hat? Uh, I was stolen in a daring raid by armed robbers. I think they did the hotel series like that because they wanted to take you through how people were receiving the information at the time. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But I, yeah, I I found it. it. It was annoying. It was kind of annoying. But I liked the... So mild spoiler warnings for Cecil Hotel. You got to... If you want to mute, if you're still going to watch it. I don't, it's not that fucking exciting. I wouldn't bother, to be honest. But mild spoiler warning for Cecil Hotel. So... Like there were, it was kind of funny. There were two things in it that were hilarious, that were that were brilliant. First was the weird couple who drank dead body water, um, and were like, "Oh, the water was coming out of the tap, and it was all, it was all brown and smelly." And we drank it, and we brushed our teeth with it, 
and we showered in it. It's like, why? What, why did? Why would you do any of those things with brown, stinky water coming out of a hotel tap? Why have you? Why would you do that? If the, if you're in a hotel and the water is like brown and smelly, just you know, don't start going to town on it. So um, that that was pretty pretty hilarious. Um, you know, in a morbid kind of way. And then also at the end when they're like. Um, <laughs> At the end of it, where they're like, oh, yeah, and it turns out that actually the 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 cover wasn't open. The, the cover was open. Like, they were like, the cover was closed, so it made it really mysterious on the, on the roof. And then at the end, they're like, oh, no, actually, the cover was open when they found her. And then, and then, it, and then everyone, but I just love the way everyone accepted that. You kind of, you're used to, like, weird conspiracy theorists will never accept anything that, you know, challenges what they what they want to believe right it doesn't matter if you tell people they're like this thing is dangerous or this thing is safe with evidence they won't you know oh pigeons on fire and dead you know they won't change their mind but all the people who were like the weird internet people on cecil hotel as soon as they were like oh yeah by the way it was open they were like oh okay fair enough and they all just they were like yeah we're done so it was yeah i kind of liked that <laughs> it's really bizarre really really weird Read the Reddit threads. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I already... I feel like I know enough. Jimmy looks like he's pretty on fire, doesn't he? This is good. This is good to watch. I like these Molly and Panzer. This is a nice... Who are you shooting at? You hit the tree. Oh, no. The internet sleuths are awful. It, it's hard to watch through the, sec the, the series when... You begin watching it and it labels someone at the bottom. Someone comes up on the screen and their little tag at the bottom is Internet Sleuth. And you're like, that I'm not sure I can watch a program that has someone's job description is Internet Sleuth. And then there was some guy who introduced himself. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he was like, oh, I guess, well, in some circles, you might call me a, a YouTuber. I'm like, just say you're a fucking YouTuber. Like, you don't need to make a big fucking song and dance about it, mate. Just need to say you're a YouTuber. We know what a YouTuber is. I'm sitting here watching Netflix, you know. So, uh, but it, it was worth watching for the for the, the bizarreness of it. It was such a weird, weird series. I mean, I wouldn't worry about thirsting in this game mode because there's so many mollies. If you get knocked, you're probably going to be in a massive pool of pool of fire. I don't think you're going to be done. Oh, he just hides behind his teammate while he's loading. Oh, Raider, get out of there. I think he escaped. Uh, gonna have to machete him. Oh, that was close. Molly on Molly. I think he got him. Yeah, he got him. Nice. <laughs> it's one of those shows that I enjoyed watching because it gave me a lot of things to moan about. Which is kind of how I feel about a lot of shows, to be honest. Bit of a fight going on here. This is a good game mode. We need this to happen with like 80 players. We need more people in the room. Molly's doing extra damage. No, just normal, normal amount. Hey Salim, how you doing? Oh, that's, uh, yep, that's them gone. Okay, we've got a fight going over my quarry here. There seems to be a good amount of pan- Oh, you do get sawn offs. Nice. There's a good amount of panzers around. I was worried there wouldn't be enough, um, panzers, but there's certainly plenty popping off, aren't there? It's quite a nice loot balance here. Oh, he's getting tagged up by the sawn off. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though, does it? Nice hit. Nice. Down to the blue. You got a med gnome. Pidge panzered Craig and then Craig dropped a molly on himself to finish the kill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Please more fire. I'm glad you're enjoying the fly the fire. Big Bruce, how you doing? From New York. Hey Bruce from New York. There goes Stevio. Unlucky Stevio. Um, so we've got a few coming in from the zone. It is eSports Circle, so they do need to be careful that damage will will be fairly painful but it is quite early still got two teams in booty get themselves uh looted up here there are 
all sorts of panzers around here. I got steamrolled. Stevio, yeah. I did not enjoy the fire. <laughs> Little bit of damage there on small person. Oh, he's seen, he's seen K Bill here trying to sneak up. <laughs> it's a nice effort. There was another one on the roof you could grab tequila. <laughs> and Molly might be decent. Get the other. There's a panzer behind you, mate. There's two. Oh, no, that's your casing. Isn't it? Oh, fucking hell. Where was that from? Oh, he went underneath. <laughs> oh, that's a great hit from small person there. What, Jack? Oh, God. Watch the back blast, Jack. Careful with the back blast. Nice. Clean from Jack there. Oh, Andy Lee getting the, getting the finish. Here's the others. They're going to try and get the mollies through. Oh, Tequila's got to watch out. <laughs> oh, my God. You might be all right. <laughs> the state of this. I need to get one through the other hole. Oh, I just went a bit long. Uh, hey, S14. How you doing? Thanks for the biddies, Stevio. Cheers, mate. Hey, these fights are great. This is awesome. Oh, Jack, Jack's out. They seem quite busy with their, their rain of fire at the moment. I want to see someone go for a um a mortar attack. Fire it straight up in the air. Oh, he's coming around behind. K-Bill has no idea. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> One left. <laughs> oh, dear. He might be able to get... Bill up, I guess. What the other two surely. Oh no, the other two are kind of backed off a bit. It is Friday Customs. How you doing, Cold Crew? Good to see you. Brian, welcome, mate. I oh, know. No hat today. No hat. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy world we live in when a man can stream with no hat. This has been a good little fight. It's luckily they're in the zone, so it doesn't have to. Oh my god, everyone's like so spread out. I didn't think. I should have made the circles a bit quicker. I feel it's going to be a little bit slow paced the end game here. Oh, he's going to try and get their revive on Jack. Oh, my God. What are these? What is... What are you trying to do? Oh, he's trying to get mollies up there? They're not up there, mate. They're above you. Big shots and tequila there. K Bill's on fire though. That isn't gonna be great. He's he's done. One left. Predator's on fire as well. I think Pred's gonna be going. He's on 10 HP. Oh my god. Is that his pan? No, they, I think they were oh they were shooting the locker. There we go. Well, that was quite the fight at Booty from uh, Team 4 and Team 9. Love to see that. Yeah, we definitely should have sped up the uh, the later circles. Everyone's like killed each other already. Nice aggressive fights, though. This has been a good game mode. It just we need to do it with more people, I think, or faster, faster late circles. Maybe we don't. Well, no, it's kind of fine with the little shotguns, isn't it? It's kind of novel. Well done, Comet. Molly, yourself, mate. Geez, oh, he got drift in the end from beyond the grave. I think drift will be fine, though. Yeah, we're down to six teams, and they're all like massively spread out now. So, um. These guys are just, uh, they're just dancing on the roof. Nice. <laughs> That's uh, Paprika Woods and um, Big Funky. Look, they've all got their pans as ready. This is very nice, lads. Very nice. It's a shame I don't get the music. Look, just weird. Oh, I do. There we go. It's very enjoyable to watch. That's a really good game mode. We'll have to remember that one. Does it keep the music if I go follow cam? No, it doesn't. Oh, it's a shame. Where's my... Give me my music. There we go. We got the music back. Uh, Delta, thank you very much, the biddies. Cheers, man. Oh my god, I, I didn't realize this, like, it really escalates. Oh! 
Okay. The... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I would have loved a panzer just to come in and hit all three of them. Would have been would have been brilliant. This is this is PUBG now, yeah. You missed the panzer kill on your car. I did not see that. But we have caught lots of action. It has been excellent. It has been great. Circle intermission music, yeah. I just found out I'm lousy with the Panzer. We saw some great fights. The one at Booty was good. I mean, all the fights have been really good to watch in this. Definitely more of this. How you doing, Yuki? I can't believe I'm about to drop 50 bucks on this game for the skins and dances. Hey, make sure you've used uh, the Beard Guy's creator code before you do that. <laughs> Place my salt, got a Panzer drive-by. Very nice, very nice. I'm always linked to TBG, nice. The noise they make when they fly past is amazing. Oh, oh, they've been hit in the back. A oh, Woodsy got across, Woodsy getting across. He's, he's on fire, he's trying to get in the river. Oh, he's just gonna get shot. He has gone down. It was a nice little attack from Woodsy there, but uh, didn't quite manage to pay off. They are down to two. Jack trying to get off. Nice range, get across. Nice range on the molly. The um, buggy ended up upside down in the river. I'm not quite sure how they managed that. Liam just pansied himself. Where was this fight? Oh, look, this is down in Pinan. So there's a fight going on in Pinan. Um, but there's also the only other team is running up on this team at the moment here. <laughs> I love the... Uh... The willingness to engage from everybody here. We won't have to wait for, like, the, the clock to run down. Here we go. This is, um... Taste My Salt's team running in the back there. Attacking Jack from behind. Andy Lee is cracked. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing all right. There's Jack. How's Jack getting on? Five kills for these boys. Looking pretty solid. This is epic. I think there is enough mollies to set fire to the entire map. Yeah, it's amazing how many you get, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, real, um, real decent amount of mollies. Bow, 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 bow. Fly myself. Down. So we still got this fight going on at Pinan. You lads scrapping away, and then whoever wins this, I guess, is going to come and join this little scrap up in the north. They're just chasing poor old Liam here. Good it. Oh, nice one from Liam. There goes uh, Crosta. Unlucky, mate. Well, he's going to go. That is the edge of the zone. Liam's holding, keeping a good account of himself here. Oh, it's unlucky. Man, that little shotgun is weak sometimes. There's no choke on it either on this. We didn't, we turned chokes off. Puny's just absolutely legged it. Um, Puny, get yourself back involved in the fight. We're going to be waiting 10 minutes for you to finish up. Possum, thank you for the gifted sub to Chief Blue. Here's Possum. How you doing, mate? Here's Andy Lee. With his very fancy looking jacket on. Hey, Tank. How you doing, mate? Did I get the silly chicken dance? I don't know. What are you talking about, Salim? Is that one I have to buy or... A fourth anniversary one, or... I haven't really looked. I have not looked. Oh, there goes Evil Ogre. Baldy's backing out of there. Oh, 
I love the sound of the sawn off. Yeah, it sounds awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, guys. Jesus. There we go. Um, right, it's just Puny left, who is thankfully running over to join the fight. I respect that, Puny. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck. See how long uh, Puny manages to last. I think he's basically been surrounded already. It's some nice hits he got on Tequila there. Did well, but he is uh, 1v3. The others, have, I guess, they were, were they trying to find Panzers? He just mollied them both. Well, he's got Tequila down, but he's on fire. That's not an ideal situation. Andy Lee coming in. Trying to go for the molly to the feet. It's a nice tactic. I like it. The point blank mollies, but it isn't going to work out. And... Uh, GG's team, team 9, sorry, Tequila, uh, Andy, and uh, whoever it was behind there that we'll see in a second. Oh, we don't get a leaderboard because it's on... Do we not? No, we do get a leaderboard because I was observing, wasn't I? Andy Lee, Jackseat Driver, and Tequila uh, coming top. GG's. Big Funky, Woods, and Paprika in second. Evil Ogre, Croster, and Baldy in third. Five for Ogre there. Very decent. Five for Andy Lee. Uh, Drift, Pantless, and Liam in fourth. And Salt, Mosin, and Winging It uh, in fifth. Well played. Paprika plus tequila equals a gita. Do you mean a, what a guita is in like the team a guita? Uh, Delta, thank you for the gift. It's up to Steve. Yo, just Delta. A guita means water. Well, how about that? How about that? Right, let's set up another lobby. A gita equals indigestion. Right, paprika and tequila. I get it. I get it. For fuck's sake, I killed myself. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Um, right, what should we do? How many people do we have? About 50 in that? Should we send people off to like a weird play zone? I want to do the Spawn Island one again. I think it might be fun. But actually like, actually on Spawn Island this time rather than the water finish. <laughs> Let me just um, check I've got, like, the settings right from my, uh, my square zone. <laughs> thanks for the level of detail in the uh the resub there uh tank thank you for the seven months man i appreciate that dude you're a legend what was 80's idea send people to the small island on the right of miramar yeah i mean we yeah we do have that 10 man 10 man miramar islands I guess the th the problem is is that you kind of know when you know where the circle's going, it takes away from that air of excitement. But um, I mean, I'm down. Didn't I roast him for giving his prime to his friend? Yeah, I think I did. I did do that. I don't know if we have enough for um, ten mans yet. So I might do. Let's do. Hang on, right. Let's do a solos on Spawn Island. Maybe a duos. Let's do duos on Spawn Island. And then we'll go to Miramar with big squads if we've got more than, like, 60 people. All right? Sound, sound, sound about right? Let me make this lobby. Um, so we're going to go Erangel. I'll leave it on... Oh, let's put an FPP, this one. Last one was TPP, right? Um, in fact, I'm going to leave it on solos. Fuck it. 
And then the next one can be big squads. Uh, right. So, blue zone, rectangle. I have to do the second one. 0 0.99, right. Hopefully I don't fuck it up again. So we have like a water finish. Although the water finish was pretty funny. Okay, cool. Um, So we're going to make the first play zone like normal. And then the rest are going to close down. We'll make it close. No, we'll just make it fully normal, the first zone. And then all the others are going to close down really quickly. Okay. So you've got, you know, you've got time to loot up, not four. You've got time to loot up and then head over there, but it's a gamble. You know, how long do you take uh, in doing that? Do you get there early and try and fortify it? Or do you, you know, do you just sweep in late and try and mop up, you know, the pieces? Maybe you come in on a glider, you know, maybe you come in by BRDM. Maybe you swim. Um, yeah, nice. We'll just, uh, let's, let's get rid of the delay at the beginning. So there's no, you'll see the circle straight away just to speed that up, but you'll still get a pretty good amount of time to loot. Don't beat your boats just in case. Um, right. Nice. So that's the blue zone done. I'll turn the red zone off. We'll put loot drops on. I'm kind of tempted to turn this into like duos or something i think it might be more fun in duos do that let me just check that didn't like reset the blue zone or anything no okay okay it's duos now i think that'd be more fun um so let's make it so that there's lots of flares we might see some brdms coming in We'll play around with the uh, the loot a little bit. Quick get game on. I'm trying, Dean. I'm trying. Um. Okay. Ammo. Should we do it like shotguns and snipers? I kind of like the idea of that. But also crates. Shotgun snipers and crates. Also, the Winnie. Ah, uh, no, nah, fuck the Winnie. Ah, uh, all right. I mean, if you want, why not? Um, cool, cool. SMGs, shotties. Uh, we'll turn the DBS off. I think. I think it's more fun with it off. It is snipery. That is true. That is true. We'll turn frags and mollies off. Um, C4s can stay on, turned up a bit. In fact, should we turn them up loads? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Crossbow off. There's going to be lots of flares and there should be lots of BRDMs available as well. Launcher doesn't matter. Um, so we don't need that turned up quite like that, do we? I'm going to turn the other ammo off. Then if you get crate weapons, you're going to be a bit limited on ammo on them, right? Or maybe should we just turn crates off? I'll just turn crates off, I think. We don't need them on. It detracts from it, right? Because people on the island will just get absolutely stacked with crate loot. 
We'll turn these up so you can get looted quick. Um, and that's all kind of fine, I think. Okay, I don't think we need to change anything else, right? Maybe, probably. Sure, why not? Love this decision making. Fuck it, why not? That is that is the approach that I generally take. <laughs> right, let's go. I won't bother locking these teams. So if you do want to move around into teams, uh, you can do that. Oh yeah, I've got to put sevens. Oh yeah, I forgot we had snipers on. I thought it was just shotguns. I'll, I'll change that in a minute. Yeah, I'll wait till everyone's joined. Thank you. We'll wait till the flurry of people joining us calmed down. So what? So what we've done is that what I'm setting there was the where the first zone is going to be. So and the first zone is going to be around Spawn Island. For if you don't know what that is, that's the island in the northeast of the map where you sometimes are in the pre-game lobby. That's Spawn Island. The first zone is going to be up there, and then it will close in from there. So you don't have to drop there. I mean, good luck if you try to, I suppose. But um, there's a... Uh, uh, you know, you, you probably want to get yourself... Drop on the mainland, get looted up, and then get a bow, a glider, a BRDM. Get yourself over to Spawn Island and, you know, have a little, have a little scrap. Does loot spawn on the island? Not there's a very small amount. I think we we realized last time there was like a little bit of loot on there, but most of it there wasn't any loot because someone I think Neuros or no, it wasn't a paperboy went there <laughs> straight there and was running around with no guns. So I wouldn't recommend using it as your your looting location. Um, right, let me turn sevens on before I forget. Hopefully it actually saves. And then we'll double check that's actually done it. It has. Excellent. What's the rules? Turn the stream off in game. Yeah, just make sure you can't hear or see the stream whilst you're playing in the game and turn it back on once you've been killed. Thanks. But we won't be starting for a couple of minutes, so you don't need to do that just yet. I hope the plane is going horizontally off Millie base. I mean, in fact, everyone's going to drop mainland anyway, so. We should do the military the military circle we did last week was good as well. Maybe we should do next we'll do the military finish again, but we won't play with the first zone too much. So they can people can come down there at like a leisurely pace, but they know where that zone is going to be. Haven isn't on customs yet, is it? No, it's not. I don't know if it'll ever come to customs. They never put Paramount on customs, so it's a shame because we, if they'd had Paramo and Haven on customs, we would have played them loads. Right, you've got one minute to join. Get yourselves in. Get involved.
They're too scared to add Haven as I would destroy you all. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Any updates on TBG Cup 3? No, not really. It'll probably be end of next month, but it depends on if anything else comes up. Um, I'm holding off organizing at the moment because I wanted a bit of a break from this week or this month. And also we've got Outriders coming out end of this month, potentially Rust coming out on console quite soon. So I'm just waiting to see what goes on with them because if they're, those games come out and we're hitting them pretty hard with content, then that will eat up my time for running and organizing competitions so yeah we'll see i'll let you know sinister thank you for the six months right we're gonna get this we're gonna get this game going we're gonna get this party started keen to play more on paramo i'd like to try solos on it yeah me too man i wanted to play solos on paramo would have been cool it's a cool map Uh, Sinister, thank you for the six months, mate. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a nice week. I keep going to do my cap and it's, it's not there. There's no cap. Sitting in a car park or hospital looks like it's TBG time. Hey, Spanky. Yeah, I mean, Haven is, you know, the, the easiest place to get a, get a win. Not to demean anyone's achievements, but it is, you know, there's less people to beat, right? It's a fun map. I really like playing on Haven, but not in squads, especially. Team 23, pretty OP. <laughs> Yeah, duo was, was was a lot of fun on Haven. Like if they'd left that in, I would have played it tons all all season. I still like when and when I look at the screen loading into our own custom games, and I see that it's Erangel. There's still like a brief moment where I'm like, "Oh, sweet, I got Erangel again," <laughs> even though I set this lobby up. Well, let me just uh, mute old. Chinny's rustly mic here. Get my window open, it's getting hot in here. God, imagine what it's going to be like in the summer. These are the trousers I needed on. I didn't seem to have these trousers. Does anyone on ride bikes, as in motorbikes? Do we have any motorbikerists in chat today? Any hairy bikers? Are they the, they're the Dino Land pants? Ah, nice, nice. Yeah, it looks good. I wish that hardcore mode. Yeah, if they had that in customs, that'd be great. I mean, it's kind of a recurring thing that we've seen. Of, we've talked about a lot over the last six months is PUBG doing, putting cool things into the game and then not making them available in customs has been quite a frustration. Are we allowed to fight before the island? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go nuts. Just joined late. Any specific rules? The first zone is going to be on Spawn Island. Um, other than that, go nuts. I think it's basically bolt actions and shotguns only. And there should be shitloads of flares. Well, more flares than normal. And there's like 99 BRDMs available. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. But yeah, the play zone is going to go towards um, Spawn Island. Is the key thing to remember. How are you doing, clone? Good to see you, mate. I think I um I think I avenged you yesterday. I found your body. I killed a guy on Sanok who had, Sanok who had just killed you. 
<laughs> hey Tom, how you doing, mate? Um, where should we chin, 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 chin? Let's um, let's uh, let's go here, chinny. Let's go down here. Yeah, I'm hoping this nice weather we've got holds out till um till the weekend because it's lovely, be lovely running weather. Hey Spoon, how you doing, mate? Nice to see you. It's me and Chinny on an adventure. I can't wait to have my hair cut. It's still a month till I can get my bloody hair cut. It's going to be glorious. Yeah, the nice thing about getting my hair cut is it makes my beard look even bigger. When I have nice, tight, tidy, short hair, my beard looks freaking massive. Chin, you're good, mate. Now you're good. You you go in there. Sorry, I'll change the overlay in a minute. <laughs> there we go. I'm just just banking this for us. Tactics. I don't want anyone else to steal it. Hey, Lieutenant Fire, how you doing? I mean, should we just go over there? Fuck it, right? We can manage. Let's go for a. Let's go and check out Spawn Island. Who needs loot, right? We'll be fine. Did you already get killed, Slick? Oh, mate. That sucks. Uh, hey, Ducati. How you doing? I say the same thing about my private parts. Nice. Uh, I'm good, Lieutenant Fire. How you doing, mate? I'm good. It's nice and sunny and bright today. It's a nice day. Only a couple of weeks till we can start to hang out with people again. So, uh, yeah, when they start easing the lockdown a little bit. So, yeah. Doing okay. Doing okay. You doing a 10-mile loop with the missus tomorrow morning? Oh, nice. Good effort. Yeah, I've been... I kind of eased off doing the long runs as much as I was doing because I felt like... I think I kind of overdid it in January a little bit. And um, I don't want to kind of injure myself, so I just eased off a little bit. I feel like they might. I don't, it's going to take us a while to get there, isn't it? Jesus. It's a long old way. Well, we can chat. I think my beard is going bye bye soon. Jeez. Hope that's the case. Fran yeah, France is going back into lockdown, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we seem okay. The case is. A fairly you know pretty balanced maybe dropping at the moment but i don't know i think that i guess our vaccination rollout is a lot more progressed than um than france's it's a long route i wasn't planning on doing this chin i was gonna loot i was just gonna hide the boat and then loot up and then drive up but um you came and jumped in the boat with me so i was like fuck it let's just go It'll be fine. Yeah, probably not a good idea to get your missus to go for a 10 mile run if she's seven months pregnant. There's the first flare going off. I think we're okay for gas, Chief. Yeah, we've got we've done like halfway and we've used about half a tank, so it'll be good enough. 40k a week since Christmas. Nice. Yeah, I, I was doing 30 to 40k a week and then I kind of eased off and now I've been doing sort of 20 to 30. I'm trying to get back. I'm just trying to build up slowly to... I'll probably end up doing 30 plus this week and then if I can just keep that but be a bit more sensible with like how many fast runs I'm doing and how many long, long runs I'm doing and stuff so I can just keep that up without getting sore. It's a lot easier to run now that, like, it gets lighter. So I can go running after I finish work and it's still light. It's a lot more appealing. You don't need loot. Who needs loot? You know, triads. Right. Oh, 
Oh, there might already be people here, Chin, so we've got to be careful. <laughs> oh, watch out. There's a glider. <laughs> quick, quick. Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're going to have guns. Okay, Chin. Let's just crash this. We've got to make a mad dash. Follow me, Chin. Follow me and pray. This way. <laughs> There's no guns in here. It's just armor. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what did he get? He got a smoke. Okay, right. I think that's about all the loot you get on the island, so... Good luck. What about down here? Oh, someone bringing a boat around the back. Sneaky. Oh, shit. Chin. There's nothing here, Chin. That was, that warehouse was my, that was the ace up my sleeve. TPP. Lol. Nice. Secret message from, from PUBG Corp there. <laughs> um. Okay. We've just, it's alright, Chin. We've just got to get the jump on someone. We've just got to get the jump on someone. Oh, look at this. You can see under the map. They didn't finish patching this bit up. Can I get through there? I don't think the buildings have any loot, Salim. That was where um, Paperboy tried to loot earlier. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, Wiggle. Chin, lead him down here, Chin. Bring him down. They're scrapping, aren't they? That's right, Chin. I've got a plan. It's going to be absolutely fine. How am I going to set that alight? Ah. <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> it should have set it alight. Oh, it didn't set it alight. Oh, stuns are meant to ignite it. Oh. Well. I get maybe it bounced up there. Oh, the disappointment. Yeah, flashbangs normally um normally set it alight. The flash needs to be closer. I think maybe it bounced up and um, went onto the stairs or something. Oh look, the zone's closed down. Look at it. oh my god, this guy's miles away. Need more boat spawns. Well, he seems to be better at finding a boat. Stuns inconsistent as ever. <laughs> someone was trying to C4 that. Oh, is that someone dropping a C4 maybe? We've got two gliders here. Love to see it. Three gliders, in fact. Look at this. I mean, there is a runway. It makes a lot of sense.
Yeah, you can set off gas with um, flashes, but um, I think maybe if it's, it just bounced a bit far and wasn't near enough to, uh, to set it off, unfortunately. That's a proper runway for a glider. Yeah, it's quite respectable, isn't it? Anyone coming in by, by BRDM? We saw flares earlier. What's going on over here? There was only one. I think there was more than one boat spawn, I'll be honest. I think there's more than one boat spawn on, on Erangel. These guys are just trying to swim, which I have a lot of respect for. I mean, I can see one, two, three, you know, four, the one we brought up. Five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine, ten. There's a lot of boats, you know. Yeah, they're pretty busy. We've still got a lot of people um, making their way up. Where's Pigeon doing? You just driving, a, driving your little car? Oh, he's in a glider. Oh, right. They just... They're just dawdling. Oh, look, he's got the nice glider skin from uh, the ranked season. Uh, Benji, thanks for checking out the stream, mate. I appreciate that. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Why is Spawn Island not in TDM? Yeah, it'd be good, wouldn't it? It's quite a nice view of Spawn Island, isn't it? Looks quite fetching. Did, um, someone just shot Pigeon out of the freaking glider whilst I was closing my window. Did they shoot them both out? Oh my god. They just shot both those, both of them out of the glider while I'm off, like, the limit window. Look at it go! <laughs> fucking hell. Decent. Yeah, nice shot. I'm good. I've been meaning to stop by for ages. Just keep on forgetting. Well, nice to see you, mate. Is there anyone still making their way in? Oh my god, there's still loads of people on the mainland. <laughs> I hope they've probably just given up. What a weird circle. It is a weird circle, isn't it? It's a very uncircular looking circle. I like that it's just gliders all over the place here. Still 12 alive. Most of those are on the mainland. I mean, I mean, potentially someone on the mainland, like, could still win. <laughs> if, like, these guys manage to all kill each other or something. Someone dies to a molly. That'd be amazing to see. Yeah, nice, nice shots on Pidge there. He must have just been cruising along in a straight line. Who, where, who fired that? There's another glider on its way. <laughs> Finally making their way over. Who's in that one? That's plain crazy, aptly named. I don't know where that um is that flare here? It was, it was here. Amazing. That was hard. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? It didn't go very well for me. What happened to Plain Crazy? Did he oh he just jumped out, I think. Just binned the glider. <laughs> How many gliders have we managed to get on the island? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. There's one over here as well, isn't there? Yeah, we've got six gliders. Seven, there's one in the bush there. <laughs> Good work, guys. Seven gliders on Spawn Island is pretty respectable. Right, the rest of the ones on the mainland are just about dying. We've got Tank, Short Bus, and uh, Moon still there. So it's going to be between... Uh, who's this? Exclusives and Woods. Uh, and Mazza and Hulse. Oh, they're about to die. Woodsy's down. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be these boys. Because everyone else is um, on the mainland. <laughs> Can find a boat for the life of me. Unlucky. Unlucky. He really is plane crazy. Jumping out of the plane is crazy. It was quite, quite the crazy act. 
quite the crazy act. I'm going to make it my mission to get in the next custom match. It's quite an easy mission, to be fair. We put the password on screen and we wait for five minutes. So you should be absolutely fine. I like that we've got a BRDM coming in here if they want it. How are the lads doing over here? Here's short bus. I think he's given up. Just standing there medding with 32 bandages. This is why we should have turned up the damage on the earlier play zones. We just now have to wait for all these people to run out of meds and die to the zone. Oh my god. Attainable goals are important. <laughs> uh, Mike, thank you for the 500 biddies. Cheers, Mike. I'm not sure what Moon is hoping to achieve, to be honest. Just sort of running around. GG's. GG's. Who's this over here? This is this is Tank. Just drove a bike into the sea. Very nice. Still plenty of meds. Get the next zone in a minute, and that'll uh, tick a little bit, a little bit quicker. Username checks out. Yeah, I like the spawn island ones. They're nice. The weird circles. We should try the Millie Island one in a bit. Should we do a um, like a four-man FPP squads, like an esports mode, just a normal, but maybe with like, well, man, no, we'll just do like normal esports four mans. It's quite fun. Because I can, like, play it and try and do well and then do shit and get annoyed. Uh, CT, thank you for the 10 months. Cheers, mate. How you doing today? Stop healing, just dance and die. Yeah, it would be preferable. But um, we'll just hopefully tank all. There we go. It's chunking a bit now. He's put a C4 down and laid on it. I'm not sure he's going to survive long enough for it to blow up. <laughs> oh, nice. GG's. Right, well played uh, exclusives and woods. Nicely done. Tank grabbing a second place and I guess Moon in third. Short bus in fourth. Um, yeah, GG's. You got stuck. Clutched out the second place there, Tank. Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. Juju's, Juju's, got your coffee now. All looking good. Excellent. Okay, let's um, let's set up a lobby. Uh, so we're gonna go esports, standard rules, FPP, four mans, no rule changes. Let's do it. If I'm not a sub, can I still participate? Yeah, you don't have to be a sub to play. Password is on screen. Get involved. Pidge's death. Oh, nice. Thanks, Swoop. <laughs> yeah, nice. Poor old Pidge. Jumping out of the plane into the water is safer than landing on that small circle. Um, so I've left the teams unlocked, but once the timer's up, anyone who's not in a any team that's not full, I will move all the teams together to make four man. So if you're sitting in a two or a one man, you'll get merged into another team.
I uh I I figured Dutch, thanks. <laughs> Jump in, get involved. Anyone's welcome, especially if you're really shit. Uh, I would encourage you to play. <laughs> Give me a chance. Hey, Stu, how you doing, mate? What are the rules? Um, it's esports mode, FBP, Erangel. No, no changes. Just standard esports. You're sorted with me then. I'm really shit guaranteed. <laughs> Cheers, John. I randomly find myself singing these songs while doing chores or cooking. I've heard it so much. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of the problem with, like, Twitch being a bit more strict on DMCA these days. I either listen to the same couple of albums with my friend's bands over and over, or we listen to the sort of shitty lift music that is most of the rights-free music that's available um, to play. So, um, yeah, we kind of just go for this. <laughs> Occasionally, we dabble with some some other music. Run the risk. Sorry, Team 4. I'm trash. Sorry, right, mate. Can't DMCA Mozart. Right, last chance to join. You've got 90 seconds to get in here. I sometimes call my wife, Hey, Mr. Aggressor. <laughs> On a side note, does anyone want to come do some work for me unpaid? Um... I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm fine. Thanks for the offer, though. I appreciate that. Everyone assembling their sweaty teams as best they can. Muggins here sitting, sitting with, with randos that I'm not going to talk to. It's fine. I've just got to be on my A game. Who's killed me today? Who do I need to watch out for? Craig killed me, didn't he? He's in my team. Nice. Okay. Well, that's one of the people who killed me in my team. That's got to be a good omen, right? He can't kill me again. Is this an Xbox PUBG lobby? Yep, yeah, it is. Danu released playlists on Spotify. Free to use for streamers. It's really chill. Oh, nice. I'll check that out at some stage. Yeah, a lot. Of, I think a lot. There's a lot of rights free, right, rights free music around, but some of it is really like just sounds like, uh, like fucking lift music, and it's I find it a bit annoying. Am I watching the SSL season five draw tonight? Um, I will not be watching that, but I will have a look at the weekend and see see who's playing who. Ben, if you kill me with that throwable, you would have ended the whole game for me. The so with what I was doing there, so me and um, Chin went straight to Spawn Island, looted the where the bunker, which is the only place with loot. I think it didn't have any weapons in it, but it had a gas can and a flash, and you can set fire to gas poured on the floor with a flash. So I'd poured gas all over the floor, and I was going to throw the stun into the gas and then burn whoever came down and steal their gun. But I threw the stun and it it missed i guess and it didn't it didn't set fire to the gas that you were stood in and then you just shot me with a shotgun so uh would have been good if it worked out though wouldn't it would have been nice can xbox players hear ps5 yeah i think in game chat you can right Let's get to it, big man. All right, mate. We'll sort it out. Um, okay, let's merge the teams up. I mean, everyone's done pretty well, in fairness. It's just, we'll just chuck Haggis on with these two. 
uh, and we're absolutely fine. Wow, I'm impressed. People are too people are fed up with me giving them abuse. There we go. Uh, hey Jester, how you doing? In game chat, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's do a quick ad break here. Good luck. Good luck. This is the best chance of a win I will ever get. Uh, uh, good luck. I never do well in these, so because I'm not in comms with the team. Are the controller icon people on PC using a gamepad? It means the ones with the controller icon are PlayStation players. Looking straight grizzly. Thanks. Thanks, Breckles. Drive by time. Any rules? No, it's just esports. Four man, FPP. We thought we'd throw you a normal game and then we'll go back to silly games for the last hour or so. Do some more silly ones after this. Can't believe we can't fill this lobby up. I mean, 60's not bad. Last week was like randomly really busy for some reason. We had like 80 plus people, didn't we? But, uh, you know, it kind of happens. I think like, anywhere between like 60 to 80 is pretty, pretty decent. When you start to get under 50, it's you have to be a bit more like tweak the settings to kind of work with that. But 60 plus people's, you know, okay. Sometimes it's just quiet, you know. People all come one week and then they've got to go and do some shit the next week. So it's going to be interesting, I think, over the as more more and more people are like going back to work and stuff to see if that affects it. Help us decide if we need to take because for a while we 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 you did customs every Friday and then we stopped doing it every Friday because there weren't really that many people playing. Um, at the moment, it's kind of fine, but if it, if it drops down, you know, to kind of sub fifty numbers, then we'd we'd probably look at maybe changing customs to be like once a month or something like that. Um, but for the time being, you know, I think it's fine. I think it's certainly one of the most popular, you know, days we do really. So um, even if we're like playing loads of Outriders and Rust and whatever else comes out, you know, if we were going to have one day a week of playing PUBG, customs is probably the right thing to do. Uh, cheers, Kren, Crenshaw. Thank you very much. Right, good luck, everybody. I'm going out there, ready to kill everyone. You better be prepared. Hold on to your butts. Uh, please, uh, if you're playing in this game, of all the games today, if you would like to follow the rules in this one particularly and mute the stream and minimize it whilst you're playing, I'd really appreciate that because we're giving you a nice, sweaty, four-man FPP Erangel game. Um, so, you know, please don't be a dickhead and... Um, you know, keep the stream up while you're playing. There's John, there's Don, there's Craig. They can't hear me, but you can't hear them because I've got a different overlay up. But um, where do we go, boys? Like, there? 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 Do you want to go there, boys? That'll do. Well, this is good because I can hear, they can't hear things I'm saying, but I can hear them, which well, they'll, if, if my team keeps the stream open, they can hear me with like a short delay. I thought he was talking to me. <laughs> nice. Right, fuck it. Let's just get the overlay up. You can hear me, boys. It is all on, good fun. You're now... On our Larry, I think so. Oh god, these nice pink glasses on. I forgot about that. I think it's pretty chill up here, to be honest. Yeah, there's no one else. Stupid controller. 
Any vehicles? Got UAZ there. Zone's okay. Remember to close the stream if you're in the game. Thanks, murder face. He's a murder face, murder face. All right, we got UAZ there. Uh, yeah, it's nice and chilled. Awesome. Which, as I say, this Not you. I, I don't need to close the stream, thanks. <laughs> Alienitis. Dropping the beards. Right, let's go, boys. This is a nice looking UAZ you got there, Craig. Oh, I've got that one, actually. Well, it's still nice. No, actually, that's, that's not the one I've got. It's slightly different, isn't it? Man, four man FPP squads. I just I know I know they're not gonna do it, but sometimes I like to just kid myself and pretend that PUBG might put ranked FPP in as like the only ranked mode. And I'm just like, oh, imagine how much fun that'd be. Just imagine. Craig's found a canine already. I like to just tease myself with these wild notions of, you know, crazy things that PUBG <laughs> would do. An Uzi shotgun, quality, quality loadout. Don't want that mutant, thank you. Was thinking the same. Yeah, it's a nice UAZ, right? No one's dead yet. Nice and serious. Like to see it. Um, you, thank you. Do we take the, um, I will find better stuff than that. I don't got a vest yet. Damn. I killed a bunch of bots on FBP servers yesterday. Not sure if that's good practice or not. Yeah, I don't know, really. I think it is. I think it's good practice. If I could play, if there was like FBP solo servers on EU... I'd probably play it every now and again, even if it was like mostly bots, just for just for a bit of, you know, a bit of a change, I think. I don't really feel like esports loot, does it, so far? I think we've just been a bit unlucky. <laughs> I mean, I know I've got a choke on the shotgun, but... And then four, there we go, right. Cure. Cool. ba ba da ba Excuse me. What's my favorite Lord of the Rings meme? Oh man, I don't know, but I need more in my life. If anyone has any like good Lord of the Rings memes like saved on their phones or anything, please post them on our Discord in the memes room because A, I find them hilarious. Uh, and B, me and a friend of mine have just been sending, it, sending each other <laughs> Lord of the Rings memes like back and forth. Uh, for quite quite a number of days now, and I've kind of, we've I feel like we're both running a little bit dry. So I need to, I need to top up my supply of, of Lord of the Rings memes. I'll post some of the ones I've got on. I've got a load on my phone. I'll post some of them on the Discord at some stage. Um, cool. Okay, we're starting to get. You know, my shit sorted out. Hey, buddy. I really need that. What are you giving me? Oh, thank you. I can't believe I can't find one optic at the whole of shooting range. <laughs> <laughs> um, another All smoke. All the places where you'd expect to be able to find an optic. You usually would get something. The red dot, but sure. Oh, you get much more like... I don't think you used to get so many notches on their volume. That looks about right, doesn't it? That's fine. It's quite nice being able to hear them. I do have... It's kind of annoying with like the weird audio setup I have to have like game chat and the stream audio work. But I do have a way that's hopefully going to... Um, do you want that red dot, maybe? I do have a way that's hopefully going to make it work. So when I play like Rust and stuff, we can use game chat. Because you need game chat for, for Rust, right? Got to be done. There goes Haggis Basher. 
They've had an encounter. Cheers, quick. Bezza. I think I'm good. Oh, we do need the sevens though. We left loads of sevens on that mutant at the start if we do. Um, we do need it. Oh, nice. Bring that comp for someone. Russ can't be here quick enough. Uh, need another good game. Yeah, I can't wait for Rust. It's going to be a load of fun. It's going to be awesome. I mean, Rust and um, Rust come into console and um, Outriders as well. I think it's going to be great. Am I carrying some? Oh, I've still got this fucking yeah, level one bag. Ugh, I better run past loads of level twos, haven't I? Like, why well, I'm hardly carrying anything. Um, okay. There, SLR. How do I boop that? Here is SLR. Don't share the comp, throw it on your SLR. Nice idea, Plimp. I like it. I like it. Where's the freaking bag? Oh, look, I want to carry all these things. Merc is audio king if you need a hat. Well, I know what the situation is. Thank you. It, but it's just it's just that it's complicated, really. Just a little bit, a little bit complicated. There's also a hesitation to really, like, change anything, to fiddle with anything much on the stream, because, um, you know, if it, if it ain't broke, and, you know, it's a little, oh, hello. It's only a little bit broke, so I, feel, I don't want to start, nothing's gone weird for a while. I don't want to start, like, fiddling with this shit. Um, okay, yeah, we didn't find a level 2 bag because I'm an idiot, so I guess we'll just go to the zone. Any other vehicles up here? Or are we just using that UAZ? I guess it's just that UAZ. Blimp always steals loot, no surprises. <laughs> oh, a 6. Nice. Oh, wow, that's a long way. Okay, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go. Time to go, boys. Ah, oh, there's the level two. Okay, nice. Finally. Well, we aren't going to carry much now, but uh, that's fine. I can't believe that's the only car that was here. Week five pick 'em picks. Uh, I've not done any yet. I've got all the stuff, so it doesn't really matter too much what I pick. But um, yeah, I should do some really if I remember before the end of the stream. Just because it's nice to like have a uh, team to cheer on. Just smash this boost. We're gonna go all the way down. Um, thanks, Craig. Okay, where do we? Let's just get in the zone, and then we're gonna plan a route. I think Georgie Pole Bridge. Kill point MVP. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need to look at the. Um, I need to look at the teams. I haven't really thought too much about it. We gotta go a long ass way. We've got a ton of gas here, to be honest. We just gotta to remember to switch cars when we when we can. Um, if, no, let's see. I think we want to go that way. I don't want to risk driving straight down. This I feel that north bit might be a bit bit sketch, you know. I have the knowledge. My expert esports knowledge. Okay, everyone is in the cars. This is good. Me and me and Craig at lead. John and Donna bringing up the rear. Matrelius from DA. What what is the pick for the second? Is, is it team? Um, 
<laughs> this guy's like chatting away. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> um, go around this way. How are we doing on gas? We're okay. He's a cutie, so he gets my vote. Amazing. Uh, so is it for the is it kill leader team again? Like the one they did a couple of weeks ago? The way you oh shit, where was that from? That's up on the mountain, I think. Maybe. Oh, car ahead. Okay. They're on the left somewhere. We'll try and wrap around a bit further. Okay, gas is gas is pretty low. Some other fight going on here. That's why you put the extended on the SLR, rather than being a noob. We should go over there. They just killed one team. That's right. All right. There's a first aid there. I'll take it back. Uh, who's gonna push for me? Go on, Greg. Hi, Dean. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Didn't see These guys got away in here. Ooh, that's spicy. There's so many people up here. I did not expect there to be a whole bunch of lads. I think my team are panicking because they've just like managed to loot fuck all meds from, from Saverny. That's not ideal. That's fine. Oh, that's the gas. Sorry, man. I can crawl back to the bunker. It's all right, stop. Oh, if that stun not get him? How does that stun not get him? Oh my god, that was right on that dude's face. Yeah, the uh, the gas wasn't great. Pigeon just killed Salim. <laughs> nice. What happened to these boys? I think they got the revive on Don, or did he just get Salim, injured? Don't put any of your devices or anything on. <laughs> Is that no, don't quit out. Oh, God, how do I get rid of this thing? There was all technique, wasn't there? Or can you only do that in spectator? Oh, for God's sake, is this because I've, like, muted this guy? Matt? Okay, there we go. Well, rolled up on multiple I teams there. Med kit. <laughs> that is it. It's just, uh, we'll mute them both. I'll always be like this yeah. weird one-way conversation. There we go. And then we have to do this. There we go. No, darling, don't turn any devices on. <laughs> the instant thirst. Yeah, I know. I wasn't the last. Yeah, select seems to do it. 
You got two kills. Nice, nice. We were kind of going okay, and then we ran out of gas in the field. <laughs> and uh, got got pretty murdered. I'm just, I feel it gets frustrating with how inconsistent stuns are. Like, we popped that stun really nicely up in that guy's face and then step up the stairs and he's just, like, stood there absolutely fine. <laughs> it's like, for fuck's sake. I thought that was a great stun. I, think, I don't know if I'm, like, missing the mechanics of it a little bit. GG's, Craig. I thought I was being so clever and calculated. I killed you. GG. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of kills. That is the end of Peeler John. His back was turned. Oh, did he maybe... Um, I don't think he was in the bathroom, because when I went up to the top of the stairs, he was, like, stood right there. I don't think he would have had time to get in the bathroom. But, yeah, maybe maybe he spun and turned his back on it. I guess that's the thing, like, you don't know if they've been stunned or not as well, so you kind of just, you're kind of gambling. Hey Greta, how you doing? I call those two buttons select and start. Yeah, I call them select as well. Select and start. I don't know what, like, what did that even come from? Must be some old controller, right? Yeah, we interrupted. It's a, it's kind of frustrating you don't get spectate mode when you um, die in esports, like, even as the host. So we just have to watch this team. I never really played Nez much. I had N64. You should create a team. What do you mean? Your name makes me laugh at Bulls Deep. Uh, it is pretty hilarious, isn't it? Quite, quite the joke name. Rich kid with the 64. <laughs> Can't believe Greta's in chat. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? You've been playing the new Fortnite Season 6 with your kids. Tons of fun. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've never actually played it. It doesn't really appeal, but um, I'm sure it's fun to play with your kids. Now it's Squares and Burger. Yeah. Squares and Burger. PS1 controller had select and start. Who was that? It was Lucan or Simon, I think. I played on a NES at a friend's house last weekend, complete with the gun. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, I was a big N64 fan. N64 was like a big part of my childhood. I bought Paw Patrol for my three-year-old to play on Xbox. Can he do it? Nope. 25 quid well spent. <laughs> nice. Small person crushed it. Just caught out by the third. Goldeneye, yeah. It's funny the things you remember. Goldeneye was such a good game. Perfect Dark, man. Perfect Dark was awesome. I played so much Perfect Dark. And ITF, International Track and Field. Also an excellent game. He just says you play it, daddy. Nice. Uh, who's that? Treadstone. Thank you for the 16 months, mate. How you doing today? Cheers, Treadstone. Steel lad, good to see you, mate. That's me for the games. GG's. Nice. Cheers, Chief. Have a good one. Get any more mileage on Outriders? Um, 
well, it's just the demo, isn't it? But um, I might, I'll probably play it again on stream next. Well, maybe on stream. I don't know. I'll see. Maybe it's not worth playing on stream. But I do want to. I played through it with Trickster the other morning. I decided it's probably better just to play it off stream and stream PUBG. But um, I played through the demo as Trickster, which is amazing. Trickster class is so so aggressive. I love it. Um, so I've done a Trickster playthrough and I've done a Pyro playthrough. I kind of, I did a Devastator, like, through the first, like, bit, through this, like, prologue. So I think I might just play it through with a Devastator and a Techno, just so I've done all four classes. I used Technomancer in a, we had, like, an early access thing a few months ago that I did Technomancer in, so I have tried that class before. Um, but I kind of fancy doing one with, like, each class. Because it'll be good for, like, you know, prepping video content and stuff as well, but, uh... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, Outriders coming out. That comes out on the 1st of April. So that's, um, what, a week Thursday? A couple of weeks on Thursday? Yeah, a week, week on Thursday. So um, not too long till Outriders is out. And then that basically gives us... I can just play Outriders solidly, solidly for a week. Sack off PUBG. Um, and then on the 8th, we should be getting Season 11 for PUBG. So if Season 11 for PUBG is, is awesome, then we can, you know, start playing some of that. Um, and if it's shit, we can just keep playing, um, lots of Outriders, so, yeah, it should be good. I finished my Season 10 pass, so I'm gonna hit Outriders this weekend, nice. It's gonna be so much fun. Can't wait for it to come out, and because it's on Game Pass as well, it's really massive, it means anyone can try it, you know, from our, from our community. Which is really cool. And it's a game that Lamb's really looking forward to, so I can play it with Lammy at some stage. Start to get Lammy back on the channel a little bit. Um, and, um, and Gargod is really keen on Outriders as well. I was chatting to him about it yesterday. So, um, so I can play some Outriders with Gar, which is going to be a lot of fun. Dude, it's ending on the spot I dropped on. I could have just camped. <laughs> GG's. Nagano Olympic ski jumping was sick on the N64. I don't know if I ever played that. That sounds great though. Yeah, I... Oh my god, look at all these guys. It's gonna be a bloodbath. A little bit aggressive there from... Overconfidence there from Cliff. Nice, they got him though. That was, uh... That was slaps. Oh, a second knock for Cliff. He's not gonna make it. Nah, he's gone, mate. Oh, he might get him with like one tick. Oh, <laughs> so close. Is Gar also an Outriders ambassador? He just joined the program, actually. Yeah, he is now. He wasn't during the early access stuff, but he's um, he's on board now. I'm hoping we might be able to get some early access to it. I don't know if we will or not. I'm not sure if we will, but I'm hoping we might be able to get like... If we can get like it onto Outriders a day early, it'd be amazing. I don't know if I have no idea if that's gonna happen or not, but it'd be really cool if it did. Yeah, Jack's doing all right. Doing all right. Late to the stream today. Inconsiderate work. You need to have a word with them, Treadstone. Have a chat. Let them out. Let you out a bit early. Uh, so Jack, I can't go into full spectate because I was on esports mode and then died. So I don't know where the other teams are like I normally would. So uh, we just have to watch Jackie here. He's doing all right, though. He's not terrible to watch, is he? You still got two more challenges to finish. I've done I've done everything on the survivor path now apart from hit level 100, which shouldn't take too long, so we'll just get that from doing a few random dailies and weeklies, I guess, over the next like over next week. Yeah, so shame outriders isn't coming out like a week earlier really because very much um <laughs> very much like 
a bit tired of season 10, I think. It's just, you know, it's been such a stupidly long season for PUBG with no, you know, additional interesting content added. Uh, it has somewhat dragged, so could have done with it coming out a bit earlier to give us a bit of a, you know, mix things up a little bit, but we'll manage. I'm level 110. Nice. Jizzes. Yeah, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, it's a shame. I, shame you don't get the spectate cam when you die in esports settings. If I did, if I turned on the second Xbox and signed that in as an observer, we could kind of do it like that. But it's a bit of a faff just for like one game. But it would have been nice to look. I guess I can look on the 2D replay. I kind of wanted to look and see like who was at that compound we pulled up at, and then who was at Gatka when we um when we died as well. What's your favorite skin in your collection? Mine is the Break SLR skin. That's a good question. Um, the Break SLR skin is really nice. Nice. The Break's SLR skin is really good. I really like the... Um, what's I've got another SLR skin that was like a a previous esports reward with the big like gold sticky out bit on the barrel that one's kind of cool just because it's quite rare um and i really like um my the barrel that i have i think it's is it pcs2 or pcs3 the barrel that i use and the ak whatever that the ak that's like pcs whatever basically all the pcs skins are the best skins the PCS whatever barrel uh, AK that I have and the PCS whatever AK barrel that I have. Those two are awesome. I think Jack's just going to clean up everyone. They, they, they haven't have a clue. <laughs> Why are you just sitting there? Not fishing a barrel. These poor lads just trying to have a nice time and tax out here just doing them dirty. GG's. I can't seem to get an AWM. Oh, what, are you trying to do the last, um, the, like, get three kills with an Orm crossbow or MK? Or is there one that has to be an AWM? GG's. Some very, very familiar looking let's go uh, emote. Um, yeah, nice. I beat Jack in a 1v1 a few days ago. Congratulations. That is, um, that is a fantastic achievement. Sorry, my team, uh, ADHD got the best of me. Someone up for a clean up. <laughs> yeah, he did well. Poor lads at the end. I felt bad for him, really. <laughs> Poor old Thizzle. Don't know what hit him. Um, what should we do? What have we what have we done today then? Um, Miramar's just shit. So do we do? I mean, can we make Miramar good by putting good loot on it? No, let's play angle. Um, that's the answer. Let's go... Erin Gall. Let's do a solos. I kind of fancy doing a solos. Or should we do a massive team? What time is it? Do you reckon we can get away with doing a big team battle? One weapon wonder. That is quite fun. LMGs and C4. 
Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do a big team battle. I'll, I'll I'll put it on TPP for a big team battle. We'll go for we'll go for eight mans. Oh fuck it, we'll go for ten mans. Um, let's put it on. We'll leave it on Erangel just because it's you know it's the best map. TPP. Um, and we'll just play with the settings a little bit. We'll figure something out. We won't do one weapon wonder. It is pretty fun, but we won't do that. Okay, big teams. Um, so should we go for um okay, I'm just gonna like set up some some rules and we'll just we'll just roll with it and it'll be fine. That's um that's the spirit. So let's um let's leave all this shit on, but we'll turn off um smgs because i hate them um i think that can all be we'll turn off frags turn off mollies turn off flares we might come back to that The more the merrier. Um, magazine attachments. Right, we're going to turn off all attachments. I kind of like doing that. We're going to do like the, the naked the naked gun. Naked gun mode. Uh, that's all off. Um, consumables. That's fine. Uh, no backpacks. How about that? There we go. No backpacks. And let's go back to weapons and tweak tweak that a little bit. If we do no ammo, do you only get ammo through... Will you get ammo with guns or will there just be no ammo at all? <laughs> I kind of I kind of want to find out. Um, in fact, should we do... Right, let's... I've got an idea. Let's play with this. I'm going to completely change what I just, what I just said. So let's, um, we're going to have shitloads of crates, right? Change of plan here. It's going to be crate, crate crazy. And there's going to be three times as much loot in every airdrop, okay? And then we'll put bags back on. <laughs> we'll throw you a bone. Um, and then we're going to turn off all of the guns except for... Maybe like pistols? Let's do that. They really need to put in an option to save presets. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. In fact, it's, it's just fucking de Just go crazy with deagles. Turn all those off. Turn throwables up. Apart from the blowy up things. Turn C4s up because they're pretty hilarious in 10 mans. Um, cool. Okay. So we kind of changed what the original plan was a little bit. Do we want flares on? No, nah, we'll just do it with normal plane, plane drops, I think. Ammo can go up a bit. Don't need that. I'll leave the other ammo on because you might need it for... um stuff from crates uh but it's still gonna be should we do no attachment still with the crates no that's that's a bit that's a bit shit isn't it let's turn these on we'll put attachments back on anyone managed to follow the rules it's very confusing i know uh we can turn quivers off we can turn stocks off because you're not going to find any m4s or uzis Hey, Bobby. How you doing? Um, okay. I think we set up rules pretty nicely, didn't we? I think that's good. Oh, let's change the blue zone so it's not too slow. You don't need much time to loot when the circle's like, you know, when there's uh, not much to pick up. Yep. 
Yeah, it's going to be deagles only, uh, but there's also shitload of airdrops, so keep that in mind. Okay, 23 minutes. Nice. Uh, and we'll turn the red zone off because I'm nice. Um, okay. Yeah, that'll do, right? Sure, why not? Let's go. It's going to be a shit show. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, that's the goal, right? Massive shit show. There's no um, special circle. We don't know where it will go. Uh, see you later, Yuki. Have a great weekend. Uh, right, I'll just BRB a couple of minutes and then we'll, we'll get this game started. Should be a pretty interesting one, I think. If um if one of the teams looks super sweaty, like if a load of the people who I know are sweats will join one team at the end, then I'll just move them into other teams. So um don't do that, please, guys. It's just tedious. Thanks. Um, swoop, dude, the ten bomb. Thank you so much. One hundred and twenty six gifted subs on the channel from Swoop. He's dropped another ten. First ten bomb of the day. Thank you so much, mate. Subs going out to Herbs, to Pigeon, to Cowbell, to C.S. Smith, to Benji. To Darth, to King John, to Mitchell, to Defeatist, Elitist, and to Billy Sablo Swoop. Thank you, mate. Absolute hero. Can I see the saxophone to chat for Swoop? Please, ladies and gentlemen. I nearly walked away. I nearly walked out of the room. I would have missed the 10 bomb. I can't go anywhere now. <laughs> we have to wait for the saxophone to finish before I'm allowed to leave the room. Doubling the sub count for the day. Thank you, Swoop. There's a one-man sub train coming in, coming in hard and fast. Got the stream muted. What do I need to know about the rules? Oh, well, you're going to find out. Sweet bloop. Thank you, mate. Uh, and Zach DeRipper, thank you for the 36 months, the three years from Zach DeRipper. Thank you very much, mate. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You get a nice new beard for the three years. A fetching new beard. Uh, hey, Bandit. How you doing, mate? Uh, right, I'll just be a B2 sex. Cheers for the sub. Yeah, we've had a load of gifties coming out. Been a lot of gifties dropping today. Um, right, well, I think we're pretty much ready to go. 64 people. Team 7's a bit shy, but they've got two cops, so I'm sure they can carry it for the rest of their team. Um, yeah, nice. There's a fire in your living room. So I hear. So I hear Bobby Fisher just snuck in there at the end. I don't think Team 6 is that sweaty. It's just got Pidge and Neuro in it. You know, there's decent players knocking around in all the teams. It'd be fine. Do I play Warzone at all? No, not really. I have played it. It's a fun game, but um, I don't really have any time to play it these days. Because we don't stream it, so... Put a bit of undercover hippie on. Mix it up. Mix up the treehouse. Hey, Terminator. How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Do a quick ad break here. Any good plans for the weekend? Not really. Still can't really do anything. So I'm I'm just using all these weekends until they start lifting lockdown a bit. Are basically just being used to 
uh, do really boring stuff at home. So I've I've kind of got it out of the way for when we can actually do interesting things again and socialize. So, uh, you know, cleaning, painting, doing DIY, that kind of gardening, all that kind of shit. Nothing very exciting. I mean, maybe you find those things exciting. Can anyone join your games? Yeah, absolutely. Just cracking sandwiches for me. Yeah, that'll keep you going. Hey, Ginger Beard Man. How you doing? Happy Friday. Hope you had a good one. My funky pink glasses on. Looking good. They've opened restaurants to 50% capacity today in NYC. Oh man, I can't wait till I can go and eat in a restaurant again. Holy shit. I really miss that. <laughs> Hanging pegs from your beard, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Getting pegged. You know, it's going to be great. Looking forward to it. I need to... um like repot some of my i got a load of chili seedlings but i didn't really i re i potted them out but they're a bit low in the pot so i kind of need to oh that was weird on the diagonal so i need to like repot them into a bit more soil i think uh and i need to like germinate some more chili seeds because a load of them uh, yeah some of them i didn't get as many through as i wanted so i need to germinate some more seeds and stuff i'm basically using the spare bedroom downstairs as a greenhouse now because no one's going to be staying in it for a while and it gets loads of sunlight through this massive window south facing room so that with a big old window ledge so that's basically my greenhouse is um is the spare bedroom so i'm gonna grow some chili plants in there does reese aka pure customs ever pop in guy was an animal at this game um i haven't seen him for a while No, not seen him for a while. I don't know what he's up to these days. He was playing PC. He was like playing in like a PC team at one stage, I'm sure. But I, yeah, I don't know what else what he's up to. Yeah, looking forward to, uh, yeah, being able to go and eat at a restaurant. Oh, my God. So being able to just go to, like, you know, a pub for a couple of, you know, just a, a nice, quiet pub, you know, not many people there, nice and spaced out for a couple of drinks. Oh, it's going to be great. Can't wait till I can do that again. Looking forward to it. Bonsai, thank you for the 31 months. Cheers, Bonsai. That's a very, very north circle there. We got like vehicles here. Don't see any vehicles. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to going anywhere you're allowed to. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to doing anything, just anything. <laughs> I've been haven't been able to do anything for so so long. Uh, doing literally anything will be will be quite enjoyable. How are there no vehicles in this whole place? What weapons? Oh, it's deagles, isn't it? Deagles and crates. <laughs> Game crash, just loading back in. Ah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Sure, why not? Take that, got me sword. You're not allowed to go to bars yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, if they just opened up the bars ages ago, then like shitloads more people would be dead. So I'm not too anno I'm not annoyed about the bars not being open. You know, it's it's, you know, it's a shame to not be able to go to the pub. But uh, you know, I don't disagree with everything being closed how it has been. Otherwise, you know, it'd be a right fucking state of affairs. Um. There's, there's just no vehicles in the whole of this fucking town. I'm going to go find one. 
what are the rules for this match? So it's it's ten man squads, deagles only, but there are airdrops turned on, and the frequent frequency of the airdrops. Did anyone go to school? Uh, the frequency of the airdrops is should be turned up quite a lot. Fuck, there's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I'm, I'm gonna run before more people. I don't want him to get reinforcements. Don't get me wrong, I like a beer on occasion, but I'd rather have more involvement in the birth of my firstborn. Yeah! Where do we, hey, someone got a buggy. That's what we needed. We need to get more vehicles, lads. What are we going to do with one buggy? Can't wait to watch. I don't really. I never really. I'm not a big cinema kind of guy, to be honest. Right, I need someone to come with me so we can go rescue another vehicle. Someone hop on here. Yeah, I didn't really look at who dropped nearby, so we, we found some friends. Let's just check this garage here. Nice. All right, you bring that back. You gotta bring the you gotta bring the buggy back, mate. Your TV's not big enough. Yeah, I'm not like I'm too easily irritated by other people. I do normally enjoy it when I go, but I don't. I'm not normally that big on going. You know. Pick up some of the boys. Three of them running off here. Let's get a couple of these lads. Very nice. Yeah, I think we get, um, like, pub gardens are going to open in, like, a month. If it doesn't, we'll go two tits up. This guy is chilling near a rock, but uh, we got four and he's on his own, so let's... Oh, there is someone up there as well, actually. Get him, boys! <laughs> Wait, is he down yet? Where is he? How's he up? God. <laughs> Who is it? It's Thizzle. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. Nice. A lucky Thizzle. Right. Let's get in the zone, boys. The rest of the team can catch up. We need to keep an eye out for airdrops. That's, you know. Where did my gun go? Oh, it's because I... There we go. Was it because I did the map? All ah, right, okay. I'm ready, boys. <laughs> I love this like car for the lads with a deeg. Worked well, didn't it? Yeah, very enjoyable. I don't know what happened to Dave Juice guy. He's been uh, taken down at some stage. There's the zone. So we need to get... This, oh, this is a big old area with no roads here. Oh, there's a plane though. Okay, this will be fine. We're like the... Um, we're the outriders, you know? We're out. We're, we're kind of getting the lay of the land. Seeing what's what. Getting ahead. Looking for those crates. Looking for the airdrops. Oh, look, that is miles away as well. Right, there we go. Make sure I don't drive into a rock. Okay, so 285. We can get this. There's going to be three lots of loot in it, and there's four of us. So uh, it's going to be... <laughs> 
going to be carnage if we do get to it. It's assuming there's not another team that go for it. We'll come back and grab another vehicle in a minute. Let's just get this. You ran into a bee's nest. Yeah, there were people flooding all over the place. Anyone heard any other vehicles? Go nuts. <laughs> Look at it all. I'm just trying to get a helmet. Give me a helmet. There you go. Dig in, lads. Go nuts. I've got me, I've got me armor. Right. Okay. Let's go, boys. <laughs> they're, loot, they're tooled up. We got an MK. What are you trying to give me? An, you dropped an org on the floor. Okay. You just didn't want an org. Yeah, we done it, mate. We done it. Um, let's go get a couple of bits here, and then we'll just get another. I need some more deagle ammo. I haven't got much deagle ammo. Um, stun, nice. Another crate. We'll keep an eye out for. Oh, gas can. Nice. There we go. Oh, we had a gas can anyway. Oh, well, now we've got another one. You take all this. Oh, I do have that. I've got that orb, but is there any. There's no ammo for it, is there? I'm sure, it's fine. Where's this. Where's this crate going to come down? In the sea, I think. Um, yeah, I guess it's in... Okay, who else we got nearby? There was a truck and there was a UAZ in the road. So those boys... Oh my god, it's miles out to sea. Okay. Well organized. Yeah, nice, nice. Um... Down to Zaki, we could find a boat? Maybe. There we go. Nice. We can get this. Maybe. I mean, if not, you know, it's fine, right? What's up, Kane? How you doing? Why are you not using the grip you have for the org? Um, sure, I'll put the grip on my org with zero ammo. It makes you feel better. I like the way they're all following. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's going to be great. Let's see what we find here. we still got a pretty big old team going. We only lost... Oh, we lost two. We lost Jedi Simon and Dave Juice Guy. I think we'll be all right. There's another crate. So there should be lots of airdrops dropping, and they all have three times loot in them, basically. No, I just... um. Yeah, I just forgot, really. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find some bullets for it in here. What's Holst got? Our Holst hasn't got a gun at all, so... I guess it was Holst who dropped the orb for me. What we got in here, then, mate? An orm? I have that orm. What's he going to take? What do you want? Wink. You have the MK, mate. Um... Uh, can I have some fives for the um, for the org, please? <laughs> can I have some ammo for my org? No. Might get another one in the water here. <laughs> He's doing a little nod. Can you drop some? You can drop it. No. Okay. GG's, Dave. There's another one over there. Another crate. <laughs> Just sitting there shaking its head. 
Yeah, all right. Oh, this has been done, I think. It's been done, but they, they, well, yeah, they have some of it. It's fine. Back to the Zarki. Me too. Oh, we can't go to Zarki because uh, it's massively out of the play zone. You can get yourselves up here somewhere. Well, we're going to have, oh, we might have to go to Severni. There is somewhere you can get up because I've done it before. Where'd you do it? Over here. There's another crate over here. I mean, I guess that's been done if that one's gone. Somewhere along here, right? It's got to be doable. Be worried we're going to bump into some baddies, to be honest. But we'll have a quick look at this before we uh, before we go. Oh, there we go. This one looks okay. Nope. Just full of shitloads of armor. Okay. Right. We've got to, um, we've got to get out. What do you reckon? That is definitely not doable. This bit maybe? Look, there's a lot of bumpy... This looks pretty doable, I reckon. There's a lot you could vault here, I think. Should have left him out there. It was tempting, but uh, I thought it'd be a bit mean. Come on, let me just grab that, please. Oh, man, that is bullshit. Oh, God. Got man in my way now. Oh, he's got a nice... Okay. That's maybe the route. Oh, I like it. That is slick. Nice. Just in time to save the boys. Yeah, don't worry about that ammo. You know, I'll be fine. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah. Good. <laughs> Okay, just, um, stop glitching out. Okay, now there we go. Thanks. Juice funky. Is this the last game? No, we'll do another. We'll do another one. Who's was the dead guy? Hit him. <laughs> oh, hey, glider. Oh, do I have gas? I do have gas. I mean, it's a bit of a late zone for it, to be honest. Let's go shoot some boys. A little bit. Parked a bit far away, but I'm sure it'd be fine. The boys are gradually turning up. Hey, chaps. Oh, big fight going on over there as well. Hello. Where's this? Someone needs to get up there and start uh, getting some of those crates. Oh. They're getting close. Ooh. Hey, there we go. From way out. We got Breezo. Is he off to do the crate? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Where's these boys? They're over here. Decent, wasn't it? In the end. Oh, where's this? This is the enemy bike, dude. 411 meters. He got funky pretty nicely. See you later, Jack. <laughs> Jeez. Uh. 
Uh, is there any way you can see the damage stats in game report from a customs lobby? Yeah, they should appear on um, PUBG report. How many people are left? I think we've got most of the lads left, right? We've lost three or four. So we're up against maybe three people. Uh, I don't think we really need to do a lot. Be fine. I think we're like five versus two or something here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's seven versus one, in fact. Uh, yeah, sorry, PUBG lookup. PUBG lookup. No, I, man, I only just kind of got back from <laughs> getting my loot. <laughs> Where's the baddies? Is the little bunker thing in? In the bunker? In there. There we go. I think uh, Manny found someone. GG's. Nice shot. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, no. No. The noise. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Well done, team. GG's. Pretty mad, but I enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. It's good, wasn't it? I like the weird game modes. They do appeal. Um, sorry, Bonsai, did I call out that resub? I might have missed it. Thank you very much for the 31 months. Still Bonsai. Thank you, buddy. Um, okay, let's go for... Uh, the last one was TPP, so let's go FPP, Solos, Erangel. And let's do the no attachments, because I like doing the no attachments. It's kind of fun. So no attachments. Going from a Deagle to an MK is empowering. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get too much chance to actually fight anyone in that. After getting the crates in the ocean, it took us a little bit while to uh, a little while to recover. But um, we may do. Should we go no backpack as well? Fuck it, no backpack. We'll keep armor. No backpack. No attachments. And then we'll do um like canines and canines, M4s and AKs. Let's do that and turn off everything else. I did call it out. Oh, excellent. Well, you got, there you go. Double your money. Bye bye, SMGs. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, SMG meta. Uh, handguns go off. We'll turn these up because I love stunning, even though I always moan about it because I fuck it up. Leave all that on. Flares off. What's this tune playing? This is Undercover Hippie. If you hit the exclamation mark song command, it should pop up and tell you. Maybe. No. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, we did that already, didn't we? Um, okay, we need to turn crates off. Flares are already off. Uh, we will turn the red zone off. And we'll speed up the zones a bit.
What are we all having for dinner? Ooh, uh, baked potatoes and sat with either tuna mayo or baked beans and cheese, as yet undecided. Uh, and a bit of salad, using up some leftovers. Um, cool. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? All right, let's go. What was this? Bolt actions, M4s and AKs. No bags. No attachments. Something like that. Baked potatoes is a great base. Exactly. Exactly. Tuna mayo. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean, I love a baked bean, but tuna mayo is very, very nice with a jacket potato. educational stream right here yeah exactly we've always got some you know hot hot talking points on food <laughs> homemade chinese food sounds great chinese tonight don't tempt us curry powder in baked beans is a game changer oh i'll have to try that sounds nice garlic and herb roasted pork tenderloin Roast potatoes and asparagus. Sounds lovely. Uh, red cabbage, cooked potatoes, fresh baked hamburger with baked onions. Nice. Nice. Oh, you're making me hungry, guys. Stop it. I like putting barbecue sauce in beans is always nice. Just a good fat dollop of barbecue sauce is, is always a winner. Mongolian beef. Oh, nice. Having to go out making Hunter's chicken. What's, um, what's Hunter's chicken? The Branston baked beans are good. Yeah, they're decent. I normally get the Branston ones because they're just cheaper than Heinz. I'm having birra moretti. <laughs> I'm very lucky. My missus is Thai and the food is amazing. Oh, I bet. I stopped cooking to the local Chinese. I stopped going to the local Chinese because the wife's cooking is better. That's great, man. I love Thai food. That is awesome. We cook pad Thai a lot. We've got a really good pad Thai recipe. So we, we do that one a lot. It's really nice. Chicken and barbecue sauce. Ah, okay, nice, nice. Have you never had Hunter's Chicken? Chicken wrapped in bacon covered in barbecue sauce? Yeah, I've had that. I've just never heard it called Hunter's Chicken before. Dutch cake is a dangerous one. Don't take it. You guys are going to make me eat dinner early. I'm really hungry now. It's only 20 to 5. <laughs> Who asked this? Who started this conversation? It's nice and sunny outside. I'm hoping there's still a little bit of sun in the garden. I'll 
Even if it's cold, I'll go put a jumper on, sit in the garden when I finish the stream and have a beer. Just a quick repack, recap on rules. Yeah, so it's no attachments, no bags, uh, canines, M4s, and AK only. I think that's about it, wasn't it? Remember when we were talking about scrumping for apples? Yeah, that was a good one. There's a lot of nice orchards around near where I live. I go running through them quite a lot. I could do a bit of run, drive-by scrumping. Doing zucchini boats with Italian sausage. Oh, you did that last night. Nice. nice. Sausage casserole with barbecue beans. That sounds awesome. And yeah, the circles are faster as well. Right, let's go. This will be the last one, uh, I think, for today. Good luck, everybody. Play fair. Be cool. Be nice. Don't be a dick. Don't shoot me. And we'll all get along just fine. Our orchards are all gone. Yeah, there's a lot of them down here where I live still, which is nice. And there's lots of nice running routes that go out around the countryside and go through them and stuff. Good rule for life. Don't be a dick. Yeah. I feel like I, I, we've got a couple more people snuck in right at the end. Anyone else waiting to join? We all good? The last one. Green apples or red apples? I don't eat apples. At I cook with apples more than I eat them, to be honest. If I was just going to eat an apple, probably red, though. I reckon. I'm a red boy. Sausage inside and nice. Frodo, how you doing? <laughs> Tons of orchards and vineyards east of you. Nice. Can anyone just jump in this? Yeah, password's up on screen. We've just started it, though, so you've just missed out if you're not in already. Oh, you are in already. You're fine, then. You're in, you're in. It, recap on the rules. Uh, it's There's no backpacks. Uh, there's no attachments. It's canines, M4s, and AKs, and the circles will move a bit quicker. Good luck. Don't stream Snipe, don't team, etc., etc. Can US play? Yeah, yeah. Like the server will always be EU because that's where I am and just host it there. But um, anyone can join. No, get out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice where I live. It's, it's only like, like I live in a sort of medium sized town, but it's maybe. A mile, mile and a half, and I can, and then I'm basically in the countryside, so I can just run out into the countryside, and it's really nice for running out there. Hotter than the sun. <laughs> Your US, yeah, like probably half the people playing are US. The majority of our audience are US. They just love the accent. What can I say? The British people are sick of it. They don't give a shit. And Ben just kept on running <laughs> and running. That's what you do when the weather's nice. It's a nice way to spend, you know, the morning. Bugger that, run a mile. You must be mental. <laughs> The accent of evil. Can't believe you called me evil, Gingerbeard Man. Honestly. Really upset by that. Ben is like the Kent Forest Gump <laughs> dashing through the orchards, scrumping on his on his way. Um but by the way, I've mentioned it yesterday a couple of times. Um on Monday Next week, there's a PUBG Partner Throwdown, which is one of these PUBG PC partner tournaments they do that you may have seen me cast before on the PUBG EU Twitch channel. There's one of those on Monday next week at 5 p.m. It's quarter to five now, so if you need, you know, a reference, that's the time of day. That's going to start at 5 p.m. I'm casting that, and I'm also going to be joined by Gargod as well, co-casting. So we're doing that together on Monday on PUBG EU Twitch channel. Um, so come along and hang out. I'll, um, and hang out. I'll stream before that as well on this channel. Maybe do some games with Gar, and then we'll take a short break, and then we'll, we'll go live for the tournament 
um, at five o'clock or just before five on Monday. So um, that's going to be a load of fun. Come and hang out. It's going to be great. PUBG PC. I know. Big up Kent. Big up the Kentish Massive. Got another Kent man in the room. Love to see it. Uh, right, let's do this. Not that I, you know, not that I don't trust chat. What is this game mode we're doing? Some, some weird thing. Do I know who's playing in it? Uh, I know some of the people who are registered. I'll go through it on Monday. I'll have, we'll have a look on Monday stream who's signed up. But quite a lot of the, the usual suspects who play in these. Chat and born and bred. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Very local. I'm up. Yeah, not far. Not far. You can probably tell by the accent, to be honest. Pretty regional. <laughs> hey, Poker Power. I will change the overlay in uh, just a minute. Once I found a sodding vehicle, oh my god. CT's already uh, killed someone. GG CT. Still no baby. I'm convinced we'll have a toddler by the time he gives up and comes out. <laughs> I seem to remember I was pretty late out. You know, maybe does that hold them in good stead? Who knows? Ken looks like a lovely place. I mean, parts of it are. The countryside is nice. The towns, you know, they have their own charms. This is that AK skin I was talking about earlier that I really like, by the way. Was that PCS3? Pretty nice, right? Definitely one of my um, favorite skins. Um, I guess we'll take that for the minute. We want to find a K9, really. So there's K9s, M4s, and AKs. I don't know if I want. I mean, I really like the, the M4. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll take one of each. I don't know. I feel like I'd do better with the um, the M4 irons. I feel like I'm pretty, pretty decent with that. Oop. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of a bit of that. I apologize for calling you evil. It's my colonial roots. Yeah. I was talking, yeah, I'm reminded yesterday because I was thinking about like the other day on St. Patrick's Day and someone was like, do they ask if they celebrate St. Patrick's Day in the UK? Which I found really funny, you know. Um, And it reminded me of uh, when uh, I remember someone asking if we... um. It was like 4th of July and someone was like, do you celebrate 4th of the Fourth of July in the UK? And I'm like, not really. I mean, do you know, do you know what 4th of July, you know what you're celebrating there? <laughs> we don't really, it's not something we celebrate. It's not like we all sit around having a big cry about it, but you know, it's not like a national holiday for us or anything. <laughs> we all sit there and commiserate shit. <laughs> They got, they got the one that got away. Yeah. Uh, what's up? R R F W M twenty four with the catchy name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fourth of July in the UK is known as Ungrateful Colonial Day. <laughs> they call Kent the Guard of England. They do call it that. It's got a lot of nice countryside, and some of the like, you know, uh, you know, Whitstable is very nice and. And other areas. <laughs> Don't go too far. Uh, 
Um, can't really carry them. Okay, we just we got we got good armor. Do you want to smoke? I don't know whether I should. I'm tempted to ditch the smoke for a stun, but let's see, we get on. What's the largest city in Kent? Um, are there any? Well, I guess Canterbury is a city technically, isn't it? Because it's got a cathedral, right? if there are any cities really i mean it, it, i guess technically it is but uh I would, are there any cities in kent is royal tunbridge wells a city it's mostly as towns really isn't it yeah canterbury's in kent it's pretty big i guess rochester i mean so i thought i heard someone again i wouldn't really consider it a city Someone in a glider. Oh. Despot. Ken is like a zombie apocalypse. Very quiet on the whole. Just be sure to avoid all major towns and cities. Yeah, I mean, just exactly. There we go. That's what we wanted. Um, okay, let's just drink that and take a few more rounds. It's small, but officially classed as one. Yeah. But I guess in like what in my mind, what I think of as a city, there's not really ones in Ken that I'd really consider it. Outside of Canterbury, I guess. Canterbury's nice. I like Canterbury. I remember that convo. There's like over 300 countries or something that celebrate. Yeah, there's a lot of countries that celebrate their independence from... Uh, yeah, the British Empire. You know, we we had a bit of a track record. Not the most pleasant, <laughs> pleasant of people. <clears throat> I'm literally ten minutes outside of Birmingham city centre. It's loud like all the time. I mean, I'm only because of the high speed train where I am. It's like twenty five minutes on the high speed train to get into central London, which is awesome. But by if you by you know if you drive, it's 20, 25 miles into central London, but the, the high speed train's really good. So, um, it's kind of nice because it means we're close enough to London that we can get the advantage of all the like good shit that's going on in London, but we don't have to like pay London prices to live there or, you know, um, any of the negatives, you know. And I like living kind of near the countryside. I think I'm shooting a bit too high to be honest. Hey Evan, how you doing? You're originally from Maidstone, nice, nice. He just dropped a smoke out. <laughs> I need to be careful, I don't really have much ammo here. Oh look at this zone. Oh okay. Um Oh man, and the bridge is gonna be spicy, but I kinda of wanna it feels like it'd be fun to drive. Just for the lols. I've always been a city, a city boy. I, yeah, I'm, I'm like in the middle. I like, you know, town, town life. Being near the city, but not in it. If we had a decent train system in the US, I'd never drive again. Oh, there's a, there's a guy. He's not been shot yet, so I guess I can go over here, okay. God. Hello. I'd love to drive by you, to be honest. Can you... Look. Okay, he's... Okay. Oh, fuck about gas. Oh, no. Um... Uh, he's flying the glide. Oh, shit, the bed. Hello. Is that Nacho? <laughs> Someone in white. No, I think there's another guy in white, isn't there?
<laughs> it was Savage Gnome. I think he ran out of ammo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about the no bag thing. Did I get his, his... I'm surprised I didn't get run over by that. Oh, no, I can't get his thing. I doubt he had ammo, but... Oh, Gnome. Why can't I get it? <laughs> I don't want to climb over. That bridge is camped. There's certainly a, you know, maybe I can get that buggy. There's certainly some lads knocking around. It's hard to do a bridge camp unless you've, um, without a backpack. Because you're going to run out of ammo real quick unless you're getting the kills to loot people. <laughs> it's going to be quite tough. Has this got gas? Yes, it does. Okay, nice. Oh, this guy's got an AK and some ammo. Okay. Alright. Well, if we... Maybe we can chill here. And then... Let's just put this buggy somewhere safe. There we go. Uh, and then if, um, you know, if we run out of ammo, we can switch to the AK, right? There's got to be people still across here. They can't have all crossed. I can see a coop down there. It's just very far away. There you go. Oh, they're, they're parking up? No. They hit him. I thought I hit him with the, um, one of the canine shots. I was so, de it was you, I was so determined to crash into you with the glider. <laughs> it's a good effort. Did you run out of ammo, I assume? Guy behind me trying to get me. <laughs> yeah, keep honking. There's another boy down there. Okay, we're gonna switch this AK. Ah. Look at that. I hadn't run out of ammo, I just lost my head. Fair. Right, zones are coming. This guy keeps trying to cane on me. I'm not sure he's down there. I think CT was down there at one stage. Like, I cannot even see where this dude is. Okay. I thought I heard someone else coming. I was going to wait for them to go first. Okay, well, wish me luck. And it could fully set in. It was a good little scrap. I, th I assumed you'd probably run out of ammo. Oh, shit. I don't know how... Okay, we, I don't think we can take the piss too much more with this zone. Because we can't carry much uh, meds because of the um, no backpack. Oh, that's not good. Ah, oh, GG's. Should have just taken on the vehicles. That would be uh, CT moving in. That's what I should have done. I can't believe he was... Ch I wouldn't have thought there'd be someone there. I stood there shooting away for so long. He suddenly popped up. Craig again, yeah. <laughs> My
mild cheese in it. We should have got on a vehicle. I don't know why I thought I'd ride. I think it's because I, I hadn't re assumed there was no one really around this area because no shots are coming. But I guess he was just shooting up at these guys. Joel Miller on the uh, the cliff. Quite a few lads left. Uh, what's up, Lee? How you doing, mate? Nice to see you. So here's Craig. Has he got any... How's his ammo situation? Uh, he's okay. He's got 60 rounds. Let's have a little look through. Tank's doing okay. You really have to make sure you loot your kills, otherwise... You're going to be pretty um, pretty screwed. How's CT getting on? CT was on the bridge for ages. Here he is. He's carrying quite a bit of ammo. He can't have much else of anything. There's no backpacks in this, by the way. GG's Yak. Kane's been taken down by Libby there. Look at this. We've got a whole load of people on the back side of the mountain here. Joel's got COR coming behind him. There's Quilt about to get shot by Joel. And then Joel, I think, is going to get immediately shot by um, Restyles up here. Nicely done. Uh, and then we got... Who's this at the top? Someone shooting down. Bobek shooting down on, uh, on Restyles. But uh, I think he's going to... Well, he's going to have to make his way down so it's finishing up. Uh, on the little area here, what do they call this? Small, small military base, I guess. We've got Comet down here. Oh, Comet sneaking up on Holst. Very, very chilled out here. Uh, yeah, K98, AKM, M4, no backpacks, no attachments. See you later, Greta. Take it easy. That is the, uh, the game mode. There goes Pidge, taken down by CT. There we go. GG's. Uh, so Comet and Holst here have taken up positions next to each other. I feel like Comet seems pretty aware of where Holst is. So I uh, don't know if he maybe had the stream on there, Comet. Seems pretty clued up for uh, Holst was staying pretty still. But um, who knows? Maybe he's just got brilliant, brilliant ears. Uh, here's Liberal. Oh, man. I never realized there was like a little bit up here. I mean, you can't get here, but nice, right? Libby's just chilling in there. I call it the radar station. Resty the snake. Ah, uh, Resty. This looks, is it? I, I feel like not restyles. Well, I guess it says restyles. I like Resty though. It's a much better nickname. Uh, we'll leave Comet and Holst to like do their thing. Bobek's gonna have to make his way down here, which is always entertaining to watch. Surprised he's got ammo. I guess he was being quite conservative with it up there. Stylesy, Resi, whatever works. Uh, see you later, Oliver. Take it easy, mate. Have a great weekend and good luck. Good luck. All right, who we got left then? We got Craig Cakes, who killed me, the bastard. He's having a fight with Libby here. Nice. Ah, oh, the FPP. It's the only way to play. Are these guys still doing their thing? These guys are still doing... <laughs> Look at this fucking fight. <laughs> oh my god, they're both just creeping so slow. So, so slowly. GG Holst in the end. Fucking hell. Love that. Uh, here's Stylesy. Got himself down. Shooting up at Bobek on his way down from the mountain, I think. Oh dear. There. He got down the mountain, alright. Maybe a little bit too much of a hurry. Is uh, Libby and Craig still having a scrap? Stick with the mountain, man. Yeah, we caught it. We caught him. No worries, Buffalo. Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Who's this off? Oh, it's his tank coming in the side. And Chris is still going as well. Hanging in there. Come to interrupt. This is nice. I really like the no attachment ones. And no bag makes it kind of interesting as well. Because you have to be kind of quite conservative with your ammo and stuff. I think it's a nice game mode. I like it. Cool little finish. Nice. Nice hit. Well, we got Stylesy, Tanky, 
Libby and Craig. Well, there goes Craig. Libby Tank and Styles. Yeah, it's a good one, wasn't it, Chief? Good one. I think everyone, yeah, everyone's pretty right for ammo. I mean, Liberal's, Liberal's in a good place because there's just going to be loads of ammo in this building he can pick up if he needs it. Tank's making his move across. Getting the smokes out. Nice. There's stuns and smokes, but no frags or mollies in this uh, this mode. Oh, this is a nice little finish. This is great. This has worked out really well. It's kind of a cool place to have a finish for solos as well. For FPP solos. I like the no attachments. It's good, isn't it? Apart from, I mean, you fucking shoot me, Craig. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I think we should do more of these. They work really nicely. No attachments and the no bag thing. Look at this. Liberal just running out. Perfect timing. Oh, he didn't kill Tank in the end. He actually killed him before he finished off Tank. I thought that was just going to win it. It's a nice stun. Oh, no, he's looking away. Craig, you're banned for a week after killing Ben twice today. <laughs> Two weeks. He did have to play on my team for another game, though, so he probably gets a sympathy point for that. It's almost like a hardcore survival. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, right? You can't, you, no one's going to have loads of meds, loads of throwables, loads of ammo. Oh, he's not seen him move. He's going to see him now. <laughs> the panic fire. Oh, he's in the open. He is very low. It's all surely Tank's game. Liberal's trying to run. Take it down nicely. My Tank, that's a really good game mode. That's a great one to finish on. Definitely do some more of that. I mean, it helps when the circle goes somewhere cool as well, I think. GG's Tank taking the dub. Liberal in second. Stylesy in third. Craig in fourth. Chris in fifth. Then Holst, Bobek, Comet, CT with a very nice eight kills uh, on the bridge there. Uh, and Chief Blue coming in tenth. GG's. Wish I had C4 for the bridge. Yeah, I was hanging on the bridge trying to dodge CT's shots for a while. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Uh, nice. Right, we're going to leave it there for the day. I think that's a nice little nice little stint. That was a lot of fun. I hope everyone enjoyed the um, customs. I'm not wearing a hat. Keep doing that. Um, yeah, I'll post the stream schedule up on Monday uh, on Discord. Like I said, there's this tournament I'm casting with Gargod on Monday evening, 5 till 8 UK time-ish. Um, but I'll be streaming before that, playing some PUBG or whatever. So um, we'll catch you then. Yeah, have a nice weekend, everybody. He let me get top 10 before Tank killed me. It's very nice of him. <laughs> uh, PUBG Partner Throwdown. The PUBG PC um, partner tournament they do. So that'll be um, on Monday. Can anyone enter? If you're a PUBG partner, you can enter. Should be good. Uh, but yeah, thank you for all the subs and resubs today. Have a, uh, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. A lovely Friday. Uh, PUBG EU, that'll be on. PUBG EU Twitch channel. I'll do like a promo tweet about it on Monday or over the weekend or something. Um, but yeah, have a good one, everybody. I will see you, uh, see you on Monday. Take it easy. Till next time.